now. You guys are officially on the Stembo YouTube as of now. What's up, YouTube? There's a shrine. Hi, YouTube. This is a maze. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that subscribe button, everybody. Oh, yeah. Slap it. <laughs> Slap that bag. 30 cows in a field, 28 chickens. How many didn't? Wait, where's, where's, where is it? It's this way. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Uh, hmm. I see that. These stairs go up and over it. So we've got to get under it from where? From whence? Over here. Is there an entrance? <gasps> Is that it? All right. Yeah. yeah. No. It's just, it was a debate. I thought we had it. Ooh, we have a Urbosa's Fury now. I forgot about that. Any guesses, Sir F? Okay. So my thing is... It's, like, not eight, as in the number eight, but, like, A-T-E, maybe? Okay. So, 20? <laughs> or, no, wait, wait. Eight. And it should be ten. Ten. I wow. think he I think he did it. I think he, Sir he F it. wins I mean No, no, wait. No, twenty. No. Wait. No, ten. Oh. Ten, ten, ten. <laughs> okay. Ten. He went down a step and then he went back up. It should be ten. It should be ten. It should be ten. <laughs> It should be 10. Uh, yes, you are correct. It is 10. Um, it's not 20. <laughs> I like that the hardest part I for that really was... I really questioned myself on that one. I love that the that hardest funny part funny. of that riddle was 30 minus 20. Like, everything else was easy. Was... Yeah, but I really thought it was... <laughs> I thought it was 20 for a Jesus. But... Uh, well, well played. All right. So, Brian, to check it. pass. I got it. <laughs> I got it. You should ask, so if you ever get pulled over for drunk driving, just ask a cop. Be like, let me ask you a riddle. And then no. give, him, give him that one. How about never drive drunk? And then, yeah, thank you. With the advent of Uber and Lyft, there's no reason to drive drunk anymore. There, there's literally Uber, no reason. Lyft, there's fucking, there's a thing in my town where they will come drive your car home. Get out of here. Yeah, dude, it's fucking amazing. That's incredible. I don't trust that. It's called Buddy Lift. They Buddy drive Lift. Your car home. Get yeah, out. Yeah, they drive your car home, and you ride with some other dude, and it's amazing. They could in... just take you wherever, though, That's without you knowing. Crazy. Well, oh. no, you, you know where you're going because you know you Ho end up at the home. Hopefully, hopefully, you're not blackout drunk when they take you home. I think is the point. Um, well, I mean, I, I still be. wouldn't trust it though. You know, someone driving well, my well, car, that's a, yeah, that's, uh, that's a that, risk right there. Well, if they wreck it, it's on their insurance, not yours. Remember going past yeah, prisons, if, I always pick, if they, pick up hitchhikers. If they Careful. want to wreck it, they just like drive it off a cliff and I'm, I'm dead. What are they, wrecking you know? Ralph? Well, I'm not in Maybe. their car. You never know. That's They're the strangers. Way. I'm not in their car. So when I was in college, um, Uber and Lyft didn't exist yet because I'm old. And um, hey, how you, do you do, buddy? You and me Money. both, right, pal? Yeah. <laughs> yeah seriously. Um, oh, wow, that's a waste of hearts. Um, and so we were, we lived on. We, I went to West Virginia University for undergrad. I lived on the far campus. There were two campuses. I lived on the far campus, and the bars were on the closer campus. My freshman year, and we didn't have a way home because the shuttle ended at two, and being in college, we were out till like four. 
And so we're standing there trying to figure out how to get home. No cabs are answering the phone. This kid pulls up. Somebody's peeing on stream. Don't pee on stream. Yeah, that's <laughs> mute, mute your fucking mic. Are you kidding me? Oh, Sorry. Oh my god. Um, you, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, pee aside. God, monkey TOS. Stop peeing! My mute your fucking mic, dude. Are you kidding? How, how long are you gonna go, man? Mute your mic. <laughs> hey, we did it. I don't know how, but we did it. Um, anyway, so we're standing there trying to figure out how to get home, and this uh, this kid pulls up and he goes, "Hey, I'm drunk cab five thousand. You guys want to ride home for ten bucks?" And we're like, "Yeah, absolutely." We piled in this random kid's car. Terrible idea, but we we're nineteen year old <laughs> drunk sorry. kids. What was his and name? Drunk Cab 5000. <laughs> so we get, I like that, man. We get That's in this kid's one. car. Yeah, we get in this kid's car. No idea who he is. Oh, the barbarian armor. Fuck yeah. Um, we have no idea who he is. We don't know if he's going to murder us. But, you know, we're 19. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Four of us, one of him. We get in the car. He drives us home. Takes $10. This kid literally invented Uber and didn't know it. Like, he has to look at Uber today and think to himself... He's probably that guy that sits in a bar and says, you know, I invented Uber before Uber. And he's real drunk and he's mad. And everybody's like, yeah, sure. But like, Drunk Cab 5000, 2006. This guy, 2006. Maybe maybe he is the guy who invented Uber. What if it is right? the like, actual he owns, oh, he owns it. Uber. <laughs> I need to go back and look and see if the CEO of Uber is from West Virginia. I bet to Netflix for sure. Isn't that unbelievable? Drunk Cat Five. He definitely invented Uber and had a better name too. Drunk Cat Five Thousand. <laughs> like drunk. That kid was a. That kid was a damn genius. I love that it wasn't like one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. No, fuck five yeah. thousand. Five thousand. Yeah, like he's he definitely like sat at home with his buddies and was like, "What's a good name for this?" Drunk Cat One Thousand, and they're like, "No, no, two thousand. He's like, "No." Five thousand. Five like, thousand. Oh shit! And like that was the end of it, right? It was more Cap, than double 5, what you would think. Oh, founder number one was born in L.A. All right, so this guy is definitely just a drunk at some local bar in West Virginia, being like, you know, I invented Uber before Uber. Uh, <laughs> oh, I love that it was in that West guy. Virginia too. Oh man, that's all we do is drink. What else are you gonna do in West Virginia, dude? Um, in Buchanan. You got nothing to do. Nothing. Founder two from Calgary. Mm. Wait, wait. Did you live in fucking West Virginia? I was uh, born in Georgia and then lived in West Virginia from the time I was four until I was twenty-two. All right. Do you know Buchanan? Buchanan? J. Buchanan? Yeah. Yes. No, Buchanan, the the fucking city. Uh, no, actually. Where is that? That's in West Virginia. What part? I don't fucking know, man. That's, that's where my stepdad <laughs> oh, lived. Oh, Buckhannon. It's Buchanan. I, I call it Buchanan. Okay, I think they pronounce it Buchanan, but yes, I do. Yeah, because we ran against them in track, because it's such a small city, ever, or such a small state, we know all the cities. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that, that's where my fucking uh, stepdad is. His dad had a Big old fucking like fence factory or whatever. Fence factory. That's crazy. And Buchanan. Holy, holy hell, boys! What's going on? Whoa! A, a wild hey, opponent holy appears. Shit. Wow, we found yeah. a, uh, wild Sorry, I, uh, it's a Friday night. I went out with uh, with my roommates to to go to a party, and uh, I didn't get home until now. I'm, uh, I'm about fifteen beers in. I'm feeling good. I'm really not even drunk. <laughs> fifteen really not. beers. That's it. You guys Are you fucking kidding me? I still get need fucked uh, off. I need to Come teach back stamps. when you're twenty beers in. Mm, I need to teach stamps. you guys you to it, drink you real stamps. beers. You stream for a little bit longer because I'm playing video games. Right I'm on. I'm streaming. I'm live. Um, Brandon Huff is back, by the way. Um, I don't know if Wait, you saw, but Brandon Huff is my new. Well, yesterday he was a follower, and then he told me to. We were playing Smash, and he was like, "Hey, you got a main Wii Fit trainer?" And I was like, "Okay, uh, I'll give that a try. Why not?" And I and he was like, "If you win, I'll sub." And I fucking won. And so Brandon Huff is our newest subscriber. Um, hey, also is Will Farrell. Um, is that Lord Crocodile? No, is that no. Kevin Bacon? It is Kevin Bacon. The real Brandon, Kevin Bacon. Oh my god. Brandon Kevin asked Bacon. Why we moved I'm, to such a fan. I'm a big fan of your work, man. He's Kevin Bacon. Oh shit, I keep doing it. Who's, 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 who's Lord Crocodile? 
Uh, Lord Crocodile is uh, one of the people that's been playing Smash with us. He mains, um, oh god, uh, Incineroar. He's really good at Incineroar. He's terrible. I hate him. <laughs> Excuse me? Bevan Bacon. Uh, you heard me. <laughs> that's funny. So Yeah, I'm playing, I'm, playing, I'm gonna play one more game of, uh, I'm, I'm down. I'm what am I doing? This? I'm, playing, I'm playing Rainbow Six Siege right Bevan. now. Cake. Oh, I used to play Rainbow oh, nice. a lot. Not anymore. So I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm playing with a random group of guys that are actually pretty fucking funny. But, nice. Uh, but I actually just fucking trashed that last game. <laughs> My last round, I fucking I ran and I was an idiot. I pulled fucking dropping. I'm actually talking while playing. I'm gonna be like, sorry, boys. No worries. No worries. Yeah, yeah, let me. Uh, yeah, I was Did talking. Talk to that fucking thing. Talking to them. Um. So Brandon uh, asked what they... we what we moved to LA for, and he also asked what rank you are, Kevo. He is what? Say it again. Brandon asked what rank you are. In what? Siege. Oh, in Siege. Wait, can hear? Oh, he's in the fucking chat. Yeah. Chat. Also, oh, he can hear me. Discord. Yeah, Discord magically made its way back into uh, the stream. So surprise, you're live. Uh, hello, live. Um, in Siege, I am a. Diamond three, but plat three, whatever it is. Diamond, but plat. Uh, that seems counterproductive. Yeah, I, uh, it was a long night. I was at a party, and uh, there were a lot of a lot of underage people that were there, and uh, oh, a lot yeah. of I had a few, I had a few, I had a few younger guys that were about eighteen years old walk up to me and trying to try and you know maybe throw a few. Not not maybe they tried to act all high and mighty because like. I'm not the tallest guy. I mean, I'm, I'm like five. I'm a, I'm a five eight individual. I'm a five eight individual, but I'm like I'm pretty stocky because I work out. But like, it's, it I was, work it, out. It, it was it was quite funny. I'll be honest, because some this, of these guys were doing. Brandon Huff is plat the, as well. But you, so uh, you're essentially describing Philadelphia in a nutshell, from what I understand. Yeah, basically, that's really uh, how I'm like, Philadelphia's <laughs> a shithole. <laughs> but it was it was uh, so funny. I would get the excuse. I would get the excuse, like to go into the party, and then we went to the bar. But before the, the when we were at the party, though, we, we were seeing a friend of ours that's a year younger than us. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, th these excuses are so funny. It's like, hey, my girlfriend's in there. I'd be like, oh, what grade are you? It's like, oh, I'm a freshman. Oh, uh, did you meet your girlfriend here? I'd be like, yeah. I'm like, we haven't been in school for a week yet. <laughs> yeah, come <laughs> been on. Been girl for a week now, and it's fucking hilarious. And then they're just like, what, dude? She's my girl. Like, I texted her, and I was like, yo, call her. And he was like, no, her phone's dead. And I was like, you, if you call her, I will let you in the party. <laughs> if you call her and her phone is dead, I'll let you go in and look for her. <laughs> Calls her. I'll she let you go. Up. She fucking, she picked up. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> what? Like, oh, where wow. are you? Good start it's to the relationship. Very, very, very protective, I'll tell you that. Oh, yikes. It, it, was, a, it was a funny one. It's a good but start yeah. to the relationship. All right, so why LA and why penguins? Brennan Huff is asking. So, why yeah. LA? Uh, we, LA live, we live in the Bay Area. LA is fucking epic. You bite your tongue. Um, so, we moved to LA because my wife got into grad school here uh, in 2016, and... She was here for two years and then got a job here. And also we fucking love it because we love concerts. And so everything is here all the time. Um, so we've stayed and we're probably going to stay for some years. We're looking to buy a home. So uh, we're going to spend a bajillion dollars, but it'll be great. Uh, one bajillion dollars. One million billion dollars. Uh, why penguins? I grew up in the Pittsburgh area, so West Virginia, my town, was about an hour outside of Pittsburgh. So it's kind of the that's the hometown team. Um, so by the way, oh, it's hot. Um, so uh, Kevo Bako, um, our fellow chatter here, Brennan Huff, is a CBJ fan. Hey, did you ever visit the the Ray Caverns? The what caverns? Loray, Loray? No, I don't think so. Oh, dude, you suck. I'm a bad West Virginian. Apparently, I don't even know. <laughs> Come eat it. Come do it. You won't well, do it. Fucking cool. Really? You're just gonna, just gonna leave? Okay. Yeah, the caverns. That, yeah, I never. A lot to do is in West Virginia. I don't even know. Let me go over here. Get ahead of him. 
Alrighty, keep pace. Hey, back here. Oh, I fucked up. Is it still hot? Good God, do I have any treats? Some heat downs? Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's gonna do it. Is he gonna eat it? No, he's not. Come back, you dummy. All right, now we got him. Oh, shit. Yo, you can suck the shit out of this. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Oh, Yo. no. Oh, God. That oh, was really no. Good. Sorry. My buddy My buddy said he, he The buddy on Xbox told me he would suck me off if, uh, if I won the round and I needed <laughs> you guys. And I'm fucking... Uh, I'm on stream right now, boys, and I just, I just said that on stream. Monk, Monk at TOS. Monk at TOS is in the chat, please. Oh, how did oh, I get I, whooped that hard? What the fuck? I apologize for that one, Stems. That was very strange. That's that. not something. How do you listen to Monduga? He smacked me out of nowhere. Alright, let's just it's ignore a, what I just fuck said. Fucking Monduga. Oh, oh no. my god. That's, that thing is just a tremor. That's from Tremors. It is actually a Tremor. Yes, it is Tremors. I talk the same sure. way. <laughs> he says, Ooh, Brennan yeah, says he talks awesome. the same way, so don't worry about it. All right, good. Sorry, Brendan. How, how old is Brendan? Uh, we don't know. But he gets Step Brothers references and is a Step Brothers reference, so I would say okay, fair enough. Our, our age, roughly. Somewhere between our ages. Our ages? You're a man. I'm a, I'm a manimal. <laughs> oh, look at this. Suck it from the sky. Throw that ball. From downtown. 17. My personality is 17. He, you know, Brendan's the type. Brendan's the type of guy to say. <laughs> I've never even. I don't even know who he is. I've never even chatted with him because I'm not on stream yet because I'm playing this game. Brendan's the type of guy to say. I was born in the wrong generation. <laughs> Let's see. He says my personality is older, but I'm 17. Yeah, you are not wrong. That's precisely what he said. Hey man, it's okay. It's okay yeah. to be born in the wrong generation. You, you like stems, and you're one of the new guys, and you join our fucking. Yeah, join our Brennan team. fucking owns. He he I'm subbed after he, Discord, he subbed after ahead. one day. Yeah, he's in the Discord. Brennan owns. If you want to know who I was, Brandon, I am Kevin, uh, formerly known as Apona, and you'll know why I was Apona. Um, I am the moderator for Wrong Semo, generation. Uh, and I am a pretty cool cat. No cat. He's pretty shitty at what he does. What's happening? And Sir F with the bits. Know, 20 bits. Thanks, dude. I, right, had to, I had to ban somebody yesterday for the first time in probably four months. Yeah. Wait, what? Who did you ban? I, didn't, I wasn't there for somebody that. Somebody showed up and was like, are you a fan of, who was it? What random band was it? Uh, Outcast. Are you a fan of Outcast? Here's a random link. And we're like, Bones all right. Of a bank dad, baby. <laughs> <laughs> International. I don't know the rest of that. Um, yeah, it's pretty hilarious. Wait, no. You're going to have to explain. Why did he get banned? He posted a link in chat and was a rando and we were like what's that link and he never responded he never said another thing and we we're like hey we're gonna delete that if you want to actually be here say anything and he didn't say anything so damn it best song ever is mambo number five uh probably a virus that would murder us probably yeah it was uh it was the thing is it was uh he, he basically said hey do you like outcast and then sent a short url more than likely it was either a picture of like something nudity wise or something really dirty or, or it was a virus that's how i think of it if somebody's sending short url links it's probably a picture <laughs> what was the url that's <laughs> it, it was Brent. short dot <laughs> yeah, was like, maybe it was just bombs over fact. Yeah, you maybe. never know. Brandon's trying <laughs> to get to the bottom of it. Did anyone click on it? <laughs> it's it actually a link to uh, to a million dollars, and because yeah. we banned him, we won't become that. <laughs> we'll, you we'll you never shitty know. bastard! We'll, we'll never know. know. We'll never know. Whenever you see those links for for free money, they're, they're always real. Like come yeah, on. right. Everybody's right. gotten paid by yeah, a Nigerian prince at some real. point in their lives. See, what, if I would, I would have done it if I was on my phone. 
<laughs> have you not been paid by a Nigerian prince? Who I hasn't been paid? Them. Raise your hand if you haven't been paid by a Nigerian prince at some point in your life. No. Yeah, my, uh, my professor, my professor last semester actually. Okay, I'm not. Oh no. My Sorry. favorite, my favorite current scam, Frozen Bass. Um, is when I get the robocalls that are like, hey, the local cops are going to come pick you up because Social Security is mad at you. And I'm like, hang on. Those are different things, but... I don't think... That's not how it works. I, I know it's how it works. Oh, no, I killed a fox. Oh, I have to I have to quit forever. There's a wolf. I can't... Nobody it's like when the IRS... It's like when somebody from the quote-unquote IRS calls you and they say... The you IRS. Or you're going to jail. Yeah. The IRS can't arrest you. Yeah, the oh. IRS. We're going to send oh. the local cops oh. after you unless you send we're, us a, a, the IRS an iTunes gift card. $500. <clears throat> A gift cards. iTunes yeah. gift cards, yep. I was gonna say Imgur won't open it. I don't worry about nudity, but there's a scam website that's very similar to Imgur. Oh, that's not okay. That's good to know. No. Uh no, this is not my first playthrough. I, I beat the game entirely once and then I played most of the way through a master mode. But I've never gotten 120 shrines, so this is a first but time 120 shrine. Said it, so it's okay. Why the fuck? Can you guys hear me right now? Yes. Ow. I'm sorry, I'm talking. To you. Oh, you're really confusing. Yeah, sorry. Uh, we got, we got, we're, we got two more games, two more, two more rounds because we're gonna fucking win this. Because my, cause these guys are my boys. There are a lot of streamers asking the switch was worth it. You guys, uh, ah. what's the what's the favorite beer in Florida? And there's only one right answer. In Florida. Fucking heavy ice. <laughs> Natty. Is it oh, Natty? Shit. Where, where are you from? Is it Natty oh, Ice? Man, Island. Are you an Islanders fan? Oh my god, he's talking to other people. Mute your mic, Kevin Bacon. Shut up, nerds. Hold on. Not you guys. Shut up, nerds. What? I don't. When he say, even when he says not you guys, I don't know if he's talking to us or to other people. This is a very oh, upsetting you, series of events. You, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm about 45 from the city too. Oh my god. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm from from New York, but I live in Philly now. Back but, oh god. Cool. Oh so god, it's gonna blow up. No, I'm I'm in I'm in the suburbs, but I just yeah 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 I'm in the suburbs. I'm it's the cool. It's I'm cool. Like, Opponent, for the love, of, I'm gonna have to leave the chat if you if you don't. No need no, your no, mic. no 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 no. I thought I needed my mic. Sorry, guys. I'll just leave for a little bit. Sorry about that. Okay. Oh boy. This guy can fuck off. Jeez. Is he alive? Oh my god, he's still alive. I play Breath of the Wild, Smash, and Odyssey. Yeah, my life is a giant fan of Odyssey. It, honestly. Odyssey might be the best Mario game. No. It pains me to say it because 64 was so iconic, but... No, Odyssey is way better. Odyssey is so good. It's just a very good video game. So if you're going to buy the Switch for anything, it would be Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Smash, I mean, you know, it's fun to have all the characters and Ultimate is very well balanced, but buy it for those two games, for sure. All these games are bangers, yeah. Switch is amazing. It's my favorite console by far. Really? Yeah. Because everything else that I play at this point, I like the hardcore games I play on PC. So I kind of like I've completely diminished the reason to own a PlayStation and an Xbox, even though I have them. Um, I'm a big Halo fan. So when Halo Infinite comes out, I'll play a lot of Halo Infinite. Um, but that's like you know, years away, right? I'm pretty sure Halo Infinite is probably going to come out on the next Xbox. Yeah, it's years away. And so, yeah. like, I just don't really have a reason to play it right now. Um, I use my PlayStation 4 as a uh, video streaming box. <laughs> I watch YouTube videos and, and Hulu and Netflix and stuff. Yeah, I, I had my Xbox, and then as soon as I got my Switch, I've never touched my Xbox. It's crazy. I have no yeah. reason to. Well, Nintendo just has absurd ips and a lot of good games are coming to it and then like a lot of indie games um that are oh, great yeah. just so many good indie games cadence of hyrule played that one on stream that was epic that was so good also just a, i'm a like one of those people that has like an emotional response to good music and so listening to the nostalgic like remixes from cadence of hyrule 
um you know like there's like a bossa nova jazz smooth jazz version of song of storms and it's just so good oh what hold on do i have any i don't I'm at the bottom oh bitch anyway Caden's viral was great for the music. Let's see. Playing through 64 earlier today. I want smash smack you guys with the Wii Fit Trainer. Only character I need. GTA RL Rocket League. And Minecraft the most on my PS4. Makes sense. 64 is a prime game? What does that mean? Like good? Prime isn't good. Played with my family did. Yeah way back when i was young just started playing through on my own it's so good 60 i mean look oot and a chill stream that's what i am just chilling eh no i'll see myself out um ocarina of time and mario 64 were just such oh what the fuck? where'd you come from they were such a big change from the 2d games right so from because you you literally went from mario world super mario world this guy can suck a dick <clears throat> shoot him the bomb arrow in his face um so you literally went from mario 64 or sorry from uh, super mario world which was great but side scrolling and from a link to the past to two of the most iconic 3d games in the history of gaming and it was just like not only do those games still hold up like i play ocarina of time every year because it's my favorite game but they hold up so well and it and so like imagine what it was like going from a 2d game to that when you're like 10 years old 12 years old or however the fuck old we were when it came out um it was just so mind-blowing it was just the most insane experience took me forever to figure out how to play ocarina of time because you still had to have prima strategy guides this pretty good internet it was like uh dial up back then i'm dating myself but yeah i'm back guys sorry about that i can't beat the mom penguin in belly race no worries dude you kept it was like a a scene out of bob's burgers where you're talking to us but also talking to other people and neither of us could figure out who you're talking to <laughs> I, I am over. We lost the game two. So. The mom penguin. So there's a shortcut, Brandon. Um, you can just like I think it's like as soon as you go out the door, uh, like the starting area, just jump off to the right, and you can land at the very bottom. Pretty sure. Yeah, right at the beginning. Oh, you know where it is. Okay. It's tough though. I know it's pretty precise. Speedrunners make it look easy, but... By the way, I'm just rambling around in the wilderness. She called you out for cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm making, I'm making a sandwich right now. Nice. That's so funny. No cap. So, Crocodile, tell me, tell me more about yourself, Joe. Well, let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> the no, year I, was 2001. Oh, yes, yes. The year was 2001, and, well, my life really isn't that interesting, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Hey, man, all lives are interesting. Yes, they are. Make of it. Well, let me think. Well, yeah, no, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. That's a brown Lionel. No, thanks. Not a brown Lionel. Uh, Don't be a bitch. Hide it. Look, Lionels, those are the bane of my existence. I, I hate going against those. Here we go. All right. Especially, with the, especially the ones that have like automatic trajectory when it comes to arrows. Why can't I do my? Oh, I'm out of. Oh no, I don't want to do it. 
I wanted to go in the air and do bullet time stuff, but I used all of my boosts to get up here. So... Guess you're not a true gamer. That's true, I'm not. I'm a fake gamer. <laughs> yeah, the, the, a C, that's ironic that a CEO of a gaming company is. <laughs> Hashtag fake. Hey, bud. Hashtag. I challenge you to a duel. Oh, he's down. I can't, why can't I see his health bar? Oh no, my ancient bow. Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. Oh, he's gonna fuck me up. Ow, he fucked me up. Oh my god, my health. Um, where are my epic boosts? What's your fucking language? Mighty steamed fish. Yep. That's looking pretty much. Oh my god, I didn't do any damage to him. You guys. He didn't take any damage. Let me call Nintendo. I'll make I'll make Breath of the Wild a multiplayer. Real quick. He's just that epic. You can't. Oh, uh, here we go. Fifteen okay, times five. Uh, oh god. Oh, five oh, bomb arrows. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna die in about five seconds. So I hope you guys are happy. That's what we live for. Jesus in heaven. <laughs> He's raining him down. Look from yeah, the heavens. It's the ghetto. Uh, Oh no. Oh my. This is terrible. I hate this. I'm fucking hammered right now. I got fucking. <laughs> Holy shit, I Can just anybody see down. anything that's happening? I'm just bombing this guy into oblivion. No, oh no. no. You kid him. You kid him. He's gonna kill me. Here we go. Here's here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna stun lock. It's stun lock. Yes. No, do the thing. Why didn't he stun lock? I'm dead. Oh, very good. Very good. You did. I'm gonna die. It's okay, man. Why didn't it stun lock? I did the thing. Oh, you die, you die, it's good. Let's eat some sneaky fish, because, you know, that matters. Ah! I, I use a stasis. I use a stasis. Oh, yeah, can I use stasis on enemies now? Because I have the good uh, stasis? Yeah, you dumb dumb. Yeah, I use a stasis. Please stop being Borat. I appreciate it. You use stasis, they're very good. I, yes, it's stasis. I'll be right back, guys. Ah, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, it doesn't work very long. Yeah, that was good. Good job. Good choice. That was, that was the stuff for sure. Ow. Oh, fairy. Come on, come over here. Yes! He's dead! We did it! It took all of the things that I had in my inventory, but he's dead. This better give me a billion money. Lionel Guts. Savage Lionel Bow. What is this crap? What is this crap? This isn't worth it at all. Heavens to bits. My switch has never crashed, actually. Let's get the bomb arrows back. Yeah, I used 50 bomb arrows. Uh, everybody that told me to fight him owes me a thousand bits, because I'm very sad right now. Sad. Hashtag sad. Where? Uh... I think I hear a Hinnix. Sad tag. Where's this Hinnix at? Oh, no, it's this dummy. Savage Lionel, though. Shoots three. I love it. Let's light this mofo on fire. Stems with six viewers, huh? I like to see it. I love Stems it. Stems with six viewers, huh? I like to see it. I love it. Hearing the repeat of my own stream live through your mic because... I muted it, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, he's dead. Give me, that claymore. Give me the claymore. 
Savage Lionel does crap. That Lionel fight was horrendous. Look at everybody's in here. Hello. I mark stuff on my map. What do I mark? Let's go find these things. Ooh, baby. Should we go up to Elden or should we keep shrine hunting? What did I do here? What is this? Don't don't threaten the new subs. Brandon can do what he wants. Okay. I uh, Stembo. I don't really think you understand the the sarcasm Brendan and I have, Brendan and I have towards each other. Okay, it's I already it's good. Okay, you guys love each other already. Sir F with the twenty bits, thank you. Twenty four bits. A, oh my he's god. A, he's a sub. I would I will treat subs here for well forever. <laughs> He's a good person. He, he came in yesterday randomly at like 11.45. He followed me purely because I knew who Brandon Huff was. And then he subbed today purely because I want a game with We Fit Trainer. He's a good person. Hey, Brandon, it's not spelled that way, but I'll let you slide. <laughs> Retarded. I like it. What the? What did I mark over here? All right, let's go. I'm going to wait like five seconds until my... Uh, it's 315 where I am. My Gale. There it is. Wow, that five seconds is surprisingly accurate. What? Oh, fuck off. 315. 12, 12. Make a wish, crocodile. Let's go. What's this? I Who's... wish for 12, 13. Oh, sorry about you that. Got that. You got your wish. <laughs> yeah, it just came true. <laughs> Man, dreams really do come true. What a day, huh? Wait, is this a fire arrow? That's not what I want. It's a shock arrow. Your face! This is a bad idea. Oh, it's upside uh -oh. down. Let's kill it. Let's fuck all its legs up. Oh my god. How is this oh, royal flamer already badly damaged? I have never, I have never seen an episode of Rick and Morty. Really? Oh, you gotta change that. Yeah. This I, show's fantastic. I had never seen it until about two months ago, and I binged the whole show in about a week. It is quite good. If you're snarky and sarcastic as well, you'll fucking love it. <laughs> oh, who's, who's shooting? Oh, I'm gonna take your horse. No, don't die, horse. Did I kill the horse? Okay, it's okay. Come back. I'm sorry. Not the best way to start a relationship, but shh. Say psych right now. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to this mark. I don't know what I marked. Turn right for the love of Pete, horse. Stupid wild idiot. What's happening? I think there's a there's a fight in the chat. Somebody let me know what's happening. I haven't been paying attention. There's there's no fight. We're just having a friendly conversation. <laughs> okay. Oh, imagine boy. imagine imagine being from Pittsburgh and then living in LA now. I would fucking hate myself. <laughs> well, thankfully I'm from West Virginia, so you know. Uh, I don't know what that's oh, like. Fuck. Imagine God, living in Philadelphia and liking it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you got me there. Fair enough. You win this round. Not to use the word retarded. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not the best word. But Yeah, I would probably try and avoid not saying yeah. that word, but then again, hey man, everybody has slip ups. It's not yeah. a big deal. Not a huge deal, dude. No bigs. Yep. Is that a shrine? <gasps> There's a shrine. Brent, why not just come in the Discord chat? You're more than welcome to. Hey, you, you don't to, have to. You, you, get, don't want him. you get to listen to Kevin Bacon smack his lips for three That's hours. Funny. No, I do not. Yeah, this is like ASMR. I'm actually <laughs> not going to answer that. If you come in Discord, I will. Oh, no, I'm going to get shot. Oh, my heavens. This thing's coming closer. I'll message you. I'll message you. 
Here, ah. check your room first. I saw a shrine over here. This thing is following me, isn't it? Hey, Brandon, you're more than welcome to. I whispered you, though. Dude, fuck off back there. I lost my place. Oh, there's another one. Ah, crap. Uh-oh. Give me those legs. No, I missed. No, I missed again. Uh, yep. Oh, that was a close one. This is what happens, Larry. This is what happens, Larry. This is what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass. Anybody knows the reference, please, at any time. I forget the movie, but I've heard that before. <laughs> that Nobody? Was John Goodman said that. It was John Goodman. Okay. You at least, I, it's close enough. Yeah. I don't know the movie. Oh, but... The Big Lebowski. Yes, thank you. Oh, there you go. I, was pretty, oh, yeah. I felt like that was a very good use of that quote. I was, I was personally proud of that quote. Kevin lives in Phillies. He does not like the Flyers, but he might be affiliated some way you just told the whole fucking world what are you not allowed to tell people these things about your life i don't understand um, i'd rather not say it on screen but like then again why yeah um, um is it a I, secret are you part of like the league of extraordinary philly gentlemen i don't understand his favorite team took my team's best player oh no cbj <laughs> His favorite team took my favorite player. Wait, what? His favorite team took my team's best. Aren't you a Wild fan? No, uh, he's a CBJ fan. Well, Wild too, he said. But oh my God, oh, I'm so sorry. Thanks for our Timmy Panarin, bud. <laughs> for us. Panarin is a boy. I our swear. Animal. I swear I saw a shrine over here. I'm wasting a lot of time just poking around doing nothing. And that was a fun series. You guys destroyed the lightning. I oh my god, I know. That's the first thing I said was congratulations on the best sweep in the history of hockey. It really was. It's the best sweep in this. It's going to be hard to beat. They were so good. Hey, ma'am. This is how I think of it. The NHL doesn't give a flying fuck about players. They care about money, and that's the only thing they'll ever care about. If players want to be assholes and hold out, and people think they're selfish for it, let them be selfish. If you were if you were in their situation, you would want to have the most money imaginable. That's just how it works, man. Are you talking about N NHL or NFL? I'm just talking about everybody. Mm, yeah. But I mean, the NFL contracts are different from the NHL. With NFL, you can like you look at Tom Brady. Tom Brady reconstructs his contract almost every year. Yep. He still gets paid. He, he still gets paid the same amount of money, but it's just a cap situation. The, in the NHL, you can't do that. It's just not how it works. The NHL's cap situation is extremely... Uh, I can't even... It's, the NHL's cap situation is very simple, and that's the thing people don't like about it. Somebody that's 35 year, years old or older retires, and they still have time in their contract. Teams have to take a capture penalty, and that's ridiculous. You know, if somebody retires, their contract should be just be off the books. Yeah, it should be void. To, yeah, or or they should just have to pay maybe one year of it. But you have guys that retire at 36 years old, and their contract goes till they're 40. They have four years of capture penalty, like Marion Hosa. That's that's ridiculous. It, it doesn't Marian make sense. Marion Hosa. Yeah. You know, and the the thing is, the NHL does that seems because they don't like they don't like cap things. They don't like how if a player signed for if an older player signed for seven million a year, and if they retire. They can just get rid of it. They don't. They like how teams can struggle sometimes. I don't. It's very. It's the NHL is an extremely strange situation when it comes to upper level management. When it comes to just running it, that's why I, it just drives me nuts. But yeah, I've heard of Kuznetsov, and I've heard about the whole cocaine incident. And it's uh, and uh, hey man, and I wouldn't even call money hungry. I and mean, if they, Bobrovsky was going to get paid, no matter what, he's, he's a top five goalie. Panarin's a top fifteen player in the league. You know, if you want to get paid, you got to get paid. Columbus offered Panarin thirteen and a half million too, 
and he denied it, and he signed for 11.6 with the Rangers. He signed for almost $2 million less, so he can come to New York. Sounds like Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, it's funny, because the Jets gave Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell's contract was underwhelming, in the amount of money people thought he was going to ask for. I think he's getting paid $13, $14 million. People thought Le'Veon was going to get paid 16 to 18 The Steelers it's offered pretty- him a contract that would have been worth $70 million in total, but the guaranteed money was only 30 and so he ended up taking a contract worth fifty-three million because the guaranteed was forty-five. So like technically he wins and loses at the same time. Because yeah. like yes is like if he gets, if he gets injured this year, he wins. But if he plays a long and healthy career, then he loses uh by about twenty million dollars over time. So you know as Steelers fans, you know, we, we wish him well, but it's almost honestly like a kind of a snarky wish him well because if he has a long and healthy career, he loses a significant amount of money. All right, I have to have the thing up here. Um, Brandon, I'm positive. Um, I'm positive. Uh, what's it called? I'm positive. Uh, the uh, the 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 Blue Jackets offered Panarin an eight-year, thirteen point five million year. Lord Crocodile. Uh, I'm like ninety-nine percent sure that happened. Well, that's just who I I know a few people already in the league. And I knew um I knew Panarin's agent actually I uh I actually I tried to I had an interview with a few of his agents and that that was the job I was talking to you about Stembo with the job ah. that I would, I would have had to move to Michigan for ooh I had interviews with Panarin's agent and his other agent and um you know I always get to hear a few things once in a while very wow. interesting you're meeting a pretty unique individual I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sold out. What kind of bullshit is this? Sold out. What the fuck? <laughs> Just sleep, and then maybe he'll fucking he'll know, fucking right? wither. He'll he'll wither a few wooden steels. <laughs> yeah, Columbus has like I think the top three most cap space. I think next season you guys are gonna push for. Now nah, you guys aren't gonna push for anybody. I think Columbus is a playoff team this year, other than goaltending. If you guys can figure out your goaltending, which I think you probably should have resigned Keith Kincaid. I don't think Corpus Allo is. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. We'll see what happens. This uh, this year, this the year of the NHL free uh, restricted free agents is really interesting, man. I could talk about it for hours. It's it's crazy to me that you have so many studs for all these teams that are just waiting. They are waiting for that one stud player. They're waiting for like a Matthew Kachuk to sign a contract, five years. Eight million dollar deal, something like that. A Marner that's going to sign a twelve million dollar, eleven million dollar deal. All these players are waiting it out to see the market, and it's crazy that like some of these, like Kyle Connor, Patrick Line. Patrick Line is not going to get a big hefty contract, but Kyle Connor is. It's crazy. That some of these guys are waiting so long when training camp starts in less than a week or so. I think I think two weeks now. Yeah. Oh man, it's, it's raining. Uh, I'm going to go get a beer and a water while it finishes the rain cycle. I'll be right back. You guys can keep talking hockey. Feeling quite tired, so I sleep now. All right, Lord Crocodile. I don't know if you're still in the Discord, if you're still here. Oh, yeah. I am. I just didn't want to interrupt. No worries, man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for hanging out for so long, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, I may be on tomorrow, and then I'm off Sunday to Wednesday just because I'm traveling. Um, I'll be in Portland and very drunk. Um, Um, Maybe I'll join. Who knows? (laughs) Yeah, uh, yeah. If I'm on tomorrow, I'll, I'll uh, shoot you guys a message in the Discord. So, have a good one, dude. And uh, for the rest Thanks. of you, I'll be right back. Yeah, have a good night. Yeah, you too. See you, cool. See you, Lord. So stress. What's up, man? Brendan, we're here. Let's talk. What's up? <laughs> we are. Give me, give me something to chat about, man. I'm a talker. No, I think you can already tell I like to talk. I'm all game to talk hockey forever, so let me know. 
always. Uh, what? What? Can you hear what I'm eating? Uh, I am currently. <laughs> <laughs> I am currently eating a provolone roast beef and wheat bread sandwich. You still munching into the mic? <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even know I was. You guys should have told me. We did. You were like, all right. <laughs> Stay <laughs> ASMRing your food. All right, I need to cook everything. Uh, Stembo, on your stream, you're still invisible. Kind of scared me. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no. Oh, why what? is it is it frozen? What's happening? I don't think it's frozen. It's just it's still empty. What the hell? <laughs> Why is it? Oh no! Is ghost chair. Oh what? god! Why? Your ghost. So yeah, it's not frozen. Um, hello. Yo, I think you're a ghost. <laughs> exactly, Brennan. You know exactly what. Oh, that was the weirdest thing in the world. What the I, hell? I might be dead. <laughs> Uh, let's switch to the other FaceTime cam. If I'm not on this camera, I'm dead. So let's see. Uh, come on. Please oh, be. There we go. Please be alive. Am I alive? Yes. Yep, you're All right. I'm alive. All right. So let's switch back. My camera's bad quality. Oh, kind of. All right. Now you're good. Damn. Oh, man. that's I haven't seen that, that camera angle in a <laughs> while. That's an old ang, huh? Really brings out the beauty in your eyes. <laughs> I Wait. think Sheriff fell asleep. <laughs> oh, he died. He's dead. I think he, I think he fell asleep. Uh oh. Okay, so my main webcam died. Is that what's happening? Maybe. All right, backup webcam. It is because it's late. I'm so proud. You guys would be proud. I I have a trick for you. Um, if you ever open a bottle of beer, especially these big boys like this guy, so, you know, the the bombers, right? Oh, wait. See, oh yeah, over here. Sorry. You see these bombers, right? The 22 ounce beers. Um, if you ever open these and then you can't finish it, which is likely with this one, like my wife bought this, um, it's it's 11 and a half percent. So, you know. Is that a normal 12 ounce? No, it's a 22. It's a bomber. Um, I was going to say, that looks gigantic. <laughs> they have the, the world's tiniest hands. Um, yeah, right. <laughs> So if you ever can't finish a beer, what you should do is buy uh, a capper and caps because we opened this on Tuesday and she couldn't finish it because it's so much alcohol. I mean, 11% is for 22 ounces is like 12 beers by standards of like a Bud Light, right? So she drank a little bit of it and, and I have a capping kit because I brewed, right? I, I did that brew recently that I still need to, to bottle because I'm an idiot. But um, I put a cap on it and was wondering if that would work because it was only open for like an hour totally fine it's like it sealed it back up and all the remaining carbonation stayed and so this beer even though it was open four days ago is like perfectly still good i've seen the ad for it um so yeah you can buy a capper on amazon for like i don't know 15 bucks i found a metal one and then you can buy caps you can buy like a hundred of them for five dollars and you can store your beer forever. Yeah, eleven and a half percent. I do not mess around with my beers. Also, Stone just doesn't mess around. Like the IPA I was drinking earlier is delicious, and it's like seven percent. So it's it is what it is. But you know, I get uh, pretty See, Brendan, pretty this good. Is, this is kind of when you get to a certain age in your life, you start drinking IPAs so you can converse with older people and talk about IPAs. And you business. talk about IPAs. <laughs> it's also so you don't have to pound 15 beers and come into Twitch chat and be like, I drank 15 beers tonight, like a, a 22 year old that you are. You, Shut can, the fuck up. you can be like, I had a couple beers and I feel good. And no, it's, uh, you know. I, have to, I, dude, I take pride in how much I can I know. Yeah. When you get to my level, you're, uh, my level. <laughs> when you get to my age, your metabolism Thanks, doesn't quite work the same. And, um,. You know, you need to not put down 30 beers per night. Not even a decade older than me. Fucking like nine years old. Not even a decade. That's a big difference. I'm 30% older than you. Okay, how old are you? 31 or 30? 31. I'll be 32 in October. Shit, what do you want for Back your birthday? Back in a bit. I'll be streaming... <laughs> nothing. Your friendship. Um, I'll be streaming for... I don't know, a while. I'm, I'm good to go. My wife's <laughs> on night shift. I got nothing to do, so... I don't have class tomorrow. It's Saturday. I'm going to David Buster's get hammered. Very nice. I was uh, an October 23rd, baby. I'm right on that Scorpio cusp because you know I'm super into that. If you know anything about me, it's that I'm an astrology boy. I'm not an astrology boy. Astrology's stupid. 
Let's look up October 23rd birthdays. I know. Who oh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm a big Ryan fan Elf of the number 23, so uh, Michael Jordan. Uh, oh, the soccer player Pele. Pele? Oh, all right. Yeah. I mean, um, okay. Amelia Clark, played by uh, oh, whatever uh, <laughs> from from a uh, from a uh, from a uh, game of Thrones. She is adorable. I, um, I will Bella Delphi. Right oh, who who is it? Wait, isn't she yep. like a? Yep. Hold on, why do I know that name? Yeah, because you because you because you're in the gaming community. That's exactly why you. Wait, is she that? She's the gamer girl bathwater. Oh, is she the one that just like sticks her tongue out on Instagram videos yep. with the ears and? Yeah. Oh no! Oh man, um, it was going. It's going so well. LeVar Burton? LeVar, LeVar Ball. LeVar Ball? Oh, that's way worse. Yeah. I thought it was going to be LeVar uh, Burton. Oh, man. We, weird Al Yank. That's getting better. Okay, all right. Bring um, it back. Asad Kali, uh, Khaled, DJ Khaled's uh, son. He bought the bathwater. That's, Brandon uh, Huff is accusing Martin, you of buying Martin the bathwater. King the third. The third? Yeah. Um, let I'm me keep looking. Excellent company uh, here. All right, no, there's nobody else that you would probably. That's a nice list. Do you know that um, this is the craziest statistic ever, but statistically, if there are 20 people in a room, there's like a 95% chance that two people share the same birthday. Now, how does that make sense? I, exactly. Look it up. Um, it's fucking bizarre. It, it's one of those weird statistical like anomalies. I don't understand how or why. But just look it up. It definitely is a thing. Huh. Uh, I share the same birthday as KSI, the YouTuber. Nice. Okay. Uh, Macklemore, the rapper. Ooh, Katie's a big fan. We've seen him before. So Dana Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. She is wonderful. Paula Abdul. Can we take a, a quick aside and say that... Um, Zoe Saldana has low key been in two of the top, actually the two top grossing movies of all time now. It is crazy. It, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> like she just casually was in both of those movies. Uh, Lou Gehrig was born on the birthday. Lou uh, Gehrig. Dirk, Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, dude. Um, Jeff Ramsey from YouTube, Cheetah Hunter. Oh. Um. Uh, who else? Oh, Jacob DeGrom, pitcher for the Mets. Nice. <clears throat> That's a pretty solid birthday. Gamora was nothing in Endgame. That's because she was <clears throat> dead. She, wasn't she dead? Kind Gamora of alive? Endgame, well, her, she was kind of alive. She, her alter ego, not her alter ego, her, her past self was alive. And she didn't like chris pratt and it was yes, she kind of got right. her character kind of got destroyed because of it it's like it's like uh it's like what's her name fucking uh what who the hell's the character in, in endgame that i was re-watching and i was like this character sucks now who the hell was it the hulk no i kind of like the hulk in it. i thought it was kind of funny um, <laughs> you like hipster hulk yeah i do Hulks, I it was hulkster funny. is that what we should call i was like they ruined this character who the hell was it i can't believe i can't remember it um I could just see like a. Uh, <laughs> she got yeeted. See, I'm way too old to know what yeeted means. I don't know how to use that in a sentence. Yeet, just think of it ye as yeeted. Think of it as like destroyed. <laughs> okay. So what, what does it mean I, when you just say yeet? It doesn't mean destroy, does it? Are you guys well, secretly you, saying you you're going to destroy the earth? If, if, if anybody ever says yeeted in a sentence, it means that that person got destroyed or something. Like they got owned? But if somebody says yeet, it's, it's kind, it has its own definition. It's very strange. Like you can't really define what the word "yeet" means, but it kind of means it means like outgoing. I would think like "yeet," like "woo." You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So it's it's, it's, it's more like it's a hard to decipher it's more like, like a, a sound word. effect than a word. It's, yeah. Honestly, it's like a sound effect. It's it doesn't have a true description, but "yeeted" it has a description. Okay. This is like the word "fuck." Like "fuck" is a very um, versatile word. You can use fucking anything, man. It's, yeah, you really can. Oh, wait. There's a YouTube like, video from I think, Brennan. I think curse this words is, just keep getting... I think is, curse words are becoming more, more popular in the real world. I think absolutely. People, like, I, I don't know. I fucking love cursing. Eh? See what it did there? I, I just think if somebody's... If you're going to...
chastise somebody for saying a curse word, back it up and don't curse. You know, because sometimes people will be like, oh, don't curse. And then and most of the time that person curses a good amount of times. Everybody, everybody, I don't know. Thing, just, a, a it's, hypocrisy, just, it's just words. Hypocrisy dude. comes with everything. So. Yeah. All right. So Brendan sent a video. We need to watch that. The video is what yeeting yeah, is. Wait, I'll be okay. the judge if it's not. Oh, oh my God. It's so loud. So yeet. So it is a video of a woman throwing a soda bottle, empty, uh, in the hallway in a high school uh, hallway. And there's a lot of people, and she yeets the the can, throws it, destroys it. I mean, des destroys the bra is a it, it's a, it's not vague enough. I don't understand. She throws a water bottle, and that's yeeting because it it gets destroyed. Yeeting? You yeeted that water bottle. Ah, it's so fucking... Oh my god. I'm There's struggling. so many definitions. Oh my god, my age is showing. I don't understand. Um, I, I don't even get it either at this point. Thinking about it now, it doesn't really make any sense. It is funny. <laughs> like People under 20 will pop into the stream from time to time and just say the word yeet. And I'm like, yeah, yeet. And like I even feel weird saying the word. I'm way too old to say the word yeet. And I know that everybody knows it, so I just don't do it unless I'm quoting someone else. <laughs> You're not hit, bro. Destroyed is not yeeting. Okay. All right. All right. Brennan. Brennan is. Brennan is like 17. He, so he knows. He knows. The world better now. He knows. I'm at that. Age, I'm at that age where like I kind of missed the brink of it at now at this point. You are where I was with Snapchat. I was on the brink, and some of my friends use it, but I didn't see the point. Right? Like I was too I old, and I was like, time, yeah. I didn't. I, don't I didn't get it, uh, right? I use Twitter because I because uh, I kind of have to use Twitter. Yeah. Uh, Where is this? I I never use Facebook. Oh my! I have a Facebook account and I never go on it. I only go on it to see baby pictures. That's it. Yeah, dude. Um, Facebook is big in my generation and above. So like everybody I know is still on Facebook. You know, Facebook is huge with like. Honest to God, I'd be surprised. Like people love Facebook my age. I just hate it. I don't like how public it is, you know? It's so public. It's yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's the big difference between um, something like, what is happening? Oh no, fuck off. Ah, I don't have anywhere to fight this guy. Look at how small this world is. No, we're not. Oh wow. Oh that's no. Did I die oh, or did I? Oh my God. <gasps> I think he punched me into fire, but oh, Mifa's grace. <laughs> Mifa's grace for the win. Uh, All right, so asshole. Fun. You're going down now. Uh, you know what I need? Hold on. I will answer all of your burning questions in a second, chat. I have a thing to do. And it's to fucking murder this guy. You don't get to do that to Stembo and live, okay? You don't get to punch me into fire and survive. Ugh, almost, almost one cycled him. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, don't hit me. I oh, don't hit me yet. Okay. Oh, no. All right. That's fine. Yeah, Facebook's for the elderly. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. That's that's upsetting. Dude, fuck you. Oh, he went down like that? Oh, what a bitch. Bye. Stupid Igneo Talus. Thank God for Mifa's grace. Give me all your he's old. Gonna drop, he's gonna drop a lot of he's stuff. rich. That was worth it. All right. Nice. Now we're back on track. That's well over 500 rubies. Uh, probably around 350. So I say again, yeeting is like throwing something like the girl in the video. Like throwing a grenade in the game. You say yeet like that girl did. So so it's like a it's an expression of excitement because you threw something? That's, is that yeeting? Am I understanding yeah. correctly? Yeah, that's yeeting. So yeet has a different, but like think about it. If you say somebody got yeeted, what the hell do you mean by that? You say somebody, if somebody got yeeted, they got destroyed. Kind of like the OG when you would say Kobe. Oh no, Kobe's OG now. Oh, that's that's upsetting. No, Kobe's not OG. Dude. Kobe's not OG. People still say Kobe. Um, Kobe. Kobe. I mean, I still say it when I play PUBG. Um, okay, but yeet as a word, yeah, people will pop into the stream and they'll say it as like, it's just like a general expression of excitement from what I can tell. I love that we're debating the 
authenticity and definition of yeet. This is this is the most old man stream I've ever had in my life. Um, so you can say Kobe, I say yeet. Okay, got it. Okay, <laughs> Gamara got thrown off Vormir. Spoilers. Um, so she got yeeted. Okay. All right, so the definition on dictionary.com of what yeet means is yeet is an exclamation, exclamation of excitement, mm -hmm. approval, surprise, all around energy, often issues, often as issued when doing a dance move or throwing something. So throwing something. Brennan, He's not Brennan, wrong. Brennan was. Brennan I mean, was seven, he's in the middle of the Yeet generation. Of course, he's not wrong. Brennan, I'll be honest. I doubted you. You know, but you had That's me in the first. That's fucking round, insane. And, uh, you, uh, I'm proud of you. What does this do? <clears throat> oh no. I joked out of Funyun. What does this do? You gotta stand under it, let it crush you. I don't I feel like that's not the right answer. Oh does it <laughs> oh it opens the gate. That's okay. Terminology. <laughs> this is one of the best streams I've had in a long time. Is Sir Fat is still in fucking disbelief he just he's gonna wake up and <laughs> he's gonna be like, what where am I? So wait. what you're gonna want to do, Stems, is when it bounces, you gotta bounce and then you gotta try and hop on that. Okay, you gotta hit the paraglider. There you go. I did the thing. I'm proud of you. And there you go. <sighs> I choke so I choke so hard on that onion. Whoopsies. Well, she pissing. I don't. Brendan, I'm in Discord if you want to. More than welcome to chat. He's, he's passed out on his floor. He was not doing well, so we tried to make him say. How much did drink? We tried to make him say uh, the Peter Piper rhyme. Peter <laughs> and, Piper. And he was like, Piper Peter Piper, Piper picked a perp and peeping perkers, and that was pretty much how it came out. Um, it wasn't great, but then he asked him the Brendan asked him the riddle: um, thirty cows in a field, twenty-eight chickens. How many left, or how many didn't? And. And it's like written down as the, the number 30 cows in a field and then the number 28 chickens and then how many didn't, right? But if you read it out loud, 28 chickens, right? It makes a little more sense. That's funny. Yeah. He, he figured it out. Like, like drunk Sir F figured it out. I'm but then proud. But then he mightily struggled with 30 minus 20. <laughs> it was like, it. he was like, uh, the answer is 20. No. Eight, no, ten. Wait, no, twenty, no, ten. Yes, ten. <laughs> like it was, like the easiest part of it was the hardest struggle for him, and then he passed out. He uh, I believe there there is a rock um, in like the volcano ish. Oh, another area shrine. Like, yeah, kind of isolated, that I think. way. Yeah. He he did guess eight, twenty, and then eight, and then yeah. Yeah, I think there's a shrine to the left in the cave or something. I think you're right. Just getting that money. Ooh, I need to go... If I go get the shrine, I need to leave immediately afterwards. Do you not have another flame guard? I do not. Oh, you gotta go now. I gotta get. <laughs> oh, wait, I think it's to the right. It's right there in front of me. It's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over there. Well... It's to the right. <laughs> Basic visuals would differ with her. What the fuck? Oh no! Who did what? this? What is this? What happened? Uh, oh god! Oh shit! Oh, oh my god. fuck! <laughs> what the fuck? Who's doing this? Oh my god! Get in! Open up! <laughs> Please let me inside! Ah! Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a snack. Alright, no worries. I the Shema's a shrine. This is actually a kind of hard shrine. I yeet in the face of hard I, shrines. I believe, I, I'm like positive this is a hard shrine. I could have swore when I got to the I had difficulties. I, I feel could like, be wrong. I feel like you missed my once in a generation reference just now. What did you say? I said I yeet in the face of hard shrines. I was proud that I said that. Oh, hello. Eh. No? Eh. No, uh, no, no dice. All right, all right. No, I need this. Wait, don't slice it. I swore that was. 
Okay. No, why are you breaking it? Pick it up. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> I can tell the delay. It's about five seconds on here. I was like, why'd you hit us? <laughs> stone, damn, that is a hell of a stone smasher. Do you see that? 58 damage? Holy hell. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. 58. Yeah, right. No, that's 58 plus 16. That does fucking 74 damage. Jeebus. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to fight? That's a shame. That's a shame. Oh, what? You yeeted him. I yeeted him. <laughs> I threw him across the map. I get it now. Oh, All right. Still alive? I get it. Oh. Some rando third party showed up. <laughs> this, this guy was talking shit. He, like, the guardian joined the stream. He's like, why the fuck did you kill me? <laughs> it's like, yeah. I thought we were friends. Alright, so... This seems unrelated for now, but important later. So let's go. No, those steps don't mean anything. Oh, I meant the, uh... Oh, the like water the wheel over there or whatever. Okay, I thought you, I thought you were looking at those, like... <laughs> look, at these, look at these two <laughs> random steps. Oh, here we go. Uh, what? <laughs> Can I... The fucking five second delay is enough. It's, yeah, sorry. It's tough. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you should apologize for that. That's <laughs> not your fault, but... I feel Canadian. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. <clears throat> Thank you. I've been working very hard. Uh... So... Let the ball fall, you're good. And then just go get your fucking... Just do things now? Nah, yeah, I'm playing. I don't really... Be honest. I think this... I think this uh -huh. is Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. Do you know that? Do you know that meme or no? Which one? The guy that like laughs awkwardly. It's kind of funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, what does that mean? I, are, don't you go on Twitter a lot? I pride myself on my meme knowledge. I'm kind of surprised that I don't know this meme. Would you he's, say? Uh, he, the guy that does it is really. Uh, un, he's pretty describable. I don't really. Uh, he's a. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he is an ex-NFL player named Spice Adams. His name's Anthony Adams, I think, and he is extremely funny. Okay. And he, ma he makes memes now with his son, and he has a really awkward laugh, and it's like, ah ha ha. You gotta, I gotta send you okay. a link. Yeah, I'll, please, I'll please send me. Right send me the memes. Yeah. I see it's time to send them. Very uh -huh. nice. All right. <laughs> yeah, <I'm on> <laughs> I'm gonna copy the link address. So I'll put it up. I love that, love that memes are ever evolving. I honestly got after you get the spirit, just quick. It's a twenty second video. Just fucking watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that that's like it's like the new thing. Everybody's been doing it now. It's fucking weird. Yeah, everybody. I love meme culture so much. It's one of the best things that's happened in our generation. Truly, memes will always. Memes are our greatest gift to this earth. It's like this is our generation's contribution to society and art. It's like, you're gonna go back in history books and memes are gonna be in history books. Literally. Like, like that guy blinking, like... <laughs> like in disbelief, that's definitely gonna be there. Alright, let's see. That I'm meme has... Sure. That meme has evolved into its own thing. Alright, let's listen to this guy. Man fake laughing. Alright, let's see. That meme, has, that meme has evolved into its own thing. Alright, let's listen to this guy. Uh, hi, hi. <laughs> Me yeah, and my son. Hit him. Yeah. Hit him with it one more time. Eh? Oh, dab. oh, dab on him. <laughs> it's so bad. Okay. <laughs> it's not good. It's, it's bad. It's so funny, dude. Uh -huh. I feel like that could be used. Oh, no, I'm burning. Um. Next time, next time you see Katie, like whenever she comes back from work or whenever, you yeah. know, like tomorrow, whenever uh -huh. you guys are there, just go up to her and be like, "Hey, Katie." Uh -huh. <laughs> she'll be like, "Stop being weird with your memes." <laughs> she, she'll know. She'll, she'll, she'll know it's a meme. Yeah, please. I want to sleep. I've been up all night. So wait, does Katie work in a hospice quite often, or no? She's no, not. no hospice. So she's a nurse anesthetist. Which is, so, she essentially uh, is an anesthesiologist. She just took the nursing path to get there. So she got oh, a master's wow. degree. Now they make them get uh, doctorates, but she is lucky enough to not have to do that. Wait, did I go to the wrong place? No, I'm in the right place. Um, 
So she does what an anesthesiologist does. She uh, administers anesthesia all day and night. And uh, once a year, she has to do a week of night shift. So this is her fifth and final night shift tonight. Also, take uh, take your short off and yeah, I gotta. What is metal? Oh, there we go. Oh wait. Um, uh, also using the wrong bow. That guy. Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, she's on night shift tonight because like mostly they, they don't schedule cases at night, but things happen where like people come in from a, like a motorcycle accident or like appendectomies oddly happen at night a lot. People just like come in from pain and have appendectomies late at night. So she's currently- I mean, what kind of pain are they like? Are they in pain where like they can't fall asleep and that's why they come or something? Scott, oh my God, it's so late. Um, Wow. Yeah, they, Scott, um, that's funny. Hello, Scott. It'll be uh, still out. At least he's got fireproof lizards. It'll oh, be... Scott, if you want to know, we, uh, we are in Discord, and for some weird reason, my phone and uh, Discord voice chat is working for Snippers. Voice chat stream. is back. That's right. You're more than welcome to join the stream on mm, uh, Discord. Come on in, Scott. Yeah, I have to stand here. Oh, Lord in heaven. I have to stand inside until the rain's gone. Um, so yeah, she, she does anesthesia, um, Appy's, that's what she calls them, appendectomies, um, is like, you know, they're in severe pain because their appendix is about to rupture. If it ruptures, it's a very bad thing. So she pushes anesthesia to either, like, numb people. So like, if you're having an arm surgery, she could do a block where like your whole arm is numb. Or if you're gonna like go under and get like a significant surgery, like a heart surgery or an appendectomy or something, you have to go under general anesthesia where they knock you out. She does both of those things. And then she monitors uh, your vitals while you're knocked out and like pushes different drugs. If like your blood pressure goes too low, she pushes a drug and blah, blah, blah. Like relaxing at the moment. No worries, Scott. But that's, so that's like a, you know, she has to have a knowledge of all these different drugs you have to give, but there's also all these what I would call edge cases. It's like a, it's a term we use in, in programming where like, it's not a common thing, but like say a guy has diabetes, then you have to use different drugs. Say a guy has diabetes and some sort of like foot disorder, you would have to use different drugs. Um, oh. And so you have to know like all the combos of things that could potentially happen um, and then uh, react to those and give the proper drugs for those. So it's, it's like a shit ton of knowledge. It's a very, I would say it's very complicated. I, I'm actually very proud of her. That's cool. I mean, yeah. here, here's the question. What is, she's got to tell you secret stuff. Like, what is the common medicine that people use that you probably should use? Curious. Shouldn't use? That, but people do use, like on a daily basis. Like, not like on a daily basis. Like in, every, in, in an everyday world, what's like a medicine that people use and it's like not good for you or it's just not a good thing to do? Uh, any narcotic. Like, if they give you any narcotics to go home um uh, but i'm trying to switch my webcam back to my normal webcam see if it works now no dead so weird um you, they're so addictive like it's very bad it's not a good thing come on aha there we go yeah the painkillers that they sent home are quite i don't think i'll ever even if i'm given painkillers touch them. Well, look, you can take them for a few days. Like, you need them for the first few days. They give them to you for a reason, but, like, people get very addicted to them because they give them, like, a 10-day supply and you need three days worth, right? Uh, so, it's, like, you could you could take, it's like, say they send you home with, um, like, oxycodone, right? I don't know if that's a thing, but say they send you home with oxy and your pain is severe for three days. You would take oxy for three days, but they what, what they'll do is send you home with a week supply or a 10 day supply. And after three days, you could probably just take Tylenol. But if you keep taking oxy, you're going to get dependent on oxy and it becomes a problem, right? So that's really where the issue lies. It's just kind of misprescriptions and such. But in general, um, I don't think she really has a lot of issues with stuff like that. Is she legally allowed to... No, I don't really know. Can she prescribe people medicine? No. Uh, no, she is not a doctor. Um, but she can uh, legally push medicine. So if you're in the hospital, she can administer any type of drug. 
Okay. But she's not allowed to prescribe drugs. Yeah, she doesn't have a script pad. Does she want to be a doctor one day? Uh, no, she has no interest. Um, okay. I, I won't tell you outright what they get paid, but they get paid very well, and their benefits are the same as doctors. So, like, you know, as far as America goes, we essentially have free medicine cards, both of us, because her job has such good benefits. So, um, she doesn't really need to go back. Because, like, if she went back to medical school, she would have to go to med school and then residency be eight years and it would like maybe increase her pay by like 30 to 50 percent but like eight years worth of debt and terribleness like you're never gonna make that back so oh, wow. uh she's in a good spot yeah so we're happy she's happy why am i on fire oh my boko club's on fire nothing's happening Put all the things back on that are good. So here's something that I'm curious about with the, the Disney thing. This is something I don't be in. Yeah, you yeah. Can ignore, you can ignore it if you'd like. So when Disney, obviously they paid you, do they pay you upright and give you the money immediately? So Disney pays uh, on a weekly basis. Oh, uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Like, does it go straight to your bank account or do you yeah, get something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody, everybody has a different cadence. I signed up for direct deposit. So like. My startup, when I had a startup, we decided to pay twice a month because I felt like that was a very easy way to manage your bills. You would get a check at the middle of the month and at the end of the month reliably. Um, and so that was an easy way that I thought paying bills would work. Disney, on the other hand, pays weekly. Also a good way to do bills. So I get a paycheck. So like I submit my hours on Friday or Saturday and then the following Friday I get a paycheck uh, deposited into my account or sent to me via mail. But like I chose direct deposit for obvious reasons. Interesting. I don't know. I'm out of the things. I'm out of the boosts. Uh, where is Boron Village? There's the hot springs. So it's got to be up Let's here, right? Look the map. Uh, the map is so Goron City is going to be down to the left around. Like it's near the. Wait, hold on. No, wait, no. Hold on. What the fudge? Is it here? Go on stage over there. Wait, zoom in for me a little bit. Is this it? Zoom in just a tad bit. All right. Um. Yeah, no, that's it right there. Yeah, click that right. area. That so I just need to go yep. to this shrine and then turn around. Um, yeah, Disney pays um, every Friday. It's very nice. Um, God, dude, I, I won't say on stream what they pay but it's literally double what my other job pays right oh, now gladly. i'm like curious just it's, from a just from uh, a business standpoint where i am in i would not like like i'm curious i'm curious what it would be so I, I don't so i'm priced currently as a tech consultant uh i am a software engineering consultant that's what i'm on the books as uh what i'm doing for them is more complicated than that oh boy but that's what i'm on the books as um i can dm you the number if you're curious just so you can understand because i was nowhere near this number three years ago right this is new territory for me i'm gonna try and guess i'm gonna message you yeah you yeah dm the yeah definitely don't say it out loud but of course not dm uh, me some guesses i will Hmm. Tell you, let's play the higher or lower game. How about that? For how long are you working for them? Two months? Two months. But this is a... So, for the record, um, I am able to be a contractor for them. Um, oh, guess hourly. I'm, I'm getting paid hourly. Um, I'm able to be a contractor for them uh, for up to 18 months, and I'm paid hourly. No, uh, that's too low. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Take a stab. So let's see what you got. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what my dad. My dad's a lot older. Than me. I'm gonna give you what my dad makes hourly. Okay. Ooh, yeah, not quite that good. Okay. Well, he he's he's a head guy, so that's why. It's, yeah. I'm not. I'm if I made rich. as much as your dad, I'd be very I'm, proud. I'm, I'm, yeah. He's not rich. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a middle class individual that. He's doing quite with. well though. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Um, okay, let me do that. Uh, not quite. Okay, that. A little bit higher. Dang. <laughs> yeah. 
this is, uh yeah not bad uh in between there you go that's that's the one okay uh, all right so and, uh, like, do you clock in uh no so i send them my hours every week and just say i worked this many hours it's a very relaxed job disney is great they just trust they, they hire you knowing who you are so like they're not just going to be like did you actually work these hours and like you know track all that shit i just i'd say like hey Ed, this week i worked 21 hours you know that's, that's how it works uh it's a very relaxed gig i enjoy it a lot and i'm really enjoying the paper i'm so i'm writing a paper on the uh a white paper on the um the state of the cloud gaming industry the cloud computing industry um i'm I've finished three out of eight sections. I'm at 37 pages. Uh, it's insane. It's going to take me forever to finish this fucking paper. So. Hey, man. More money, more problems. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good because I do that on top of another job. Um, and what I will say is that the Disney job is W-2, which matters a lot because if you're 1099, you have to pay a 15% self-employment tax. I do not owe that. Disney takes out the 15% themselves. So um, it, uh, I net more um, because of that, which is great. So it's been very enjoyable. So yeah, if I do other jobs for the Disney company, that's what uh, that's what the rate would be too. So it's very good. It's very good. That's awesome. Holy hell. Yeah, I was not Damn. making anywhere near that. I can't believe I can't believe they're paying you ten million dollars. <laughs> ten million. Yeah, definitely what he put in the chat, everybody. <laughs> ten million. Ten million. Ten million. One million billion dollars. Uh, no. So one of the things that I am currently toying around with the idea of this uh i think i mentioned it last i don't know if, i don't think you were here but is um starting up my own consulting agency because i have a stupid amount of knowledge about cloud gaming uh and there are a ton of companies brennan he's back um trying to figure out what the hell to do in cloud gaming and i can tell you that all of them are doing stupid things i mean you've heard my rants right like Google yeah. Stadia doesn't know who they are. I know who they are, but they don't know who they are. Uh, now I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard don't Stadia do that. Uh, fucking up big time right now. Yeah, I. Uh, you know, the, the rumor mill is churning as far as who's going to keep what jobs over there. I can tell you that. Uh, my advisors are all former CEOs of other companies. It's it's not great over there. Um, but like. What they don't understand is that I think they've cornered a market. I, I think that Google Stadia is actually really great for one particular market. It's a niche market, which is probably not what they set out to do, but what they set out to do is unrealistic, right? They wanted to replace, oh, I need to get, can I buy gear in here? Sorry, I need to quickly derail. Can I buy fireproof gear somewhere around here? Isn't this where the stores are? Fireproof is down below near the near the entrance of the place. Okay, so down like, this way. Yeah, it's down. It's down to the left ish. Just keep following. Oh yeah, I see. Left. I see. Okay. Yeah. Um so yeah, like it oh, give me that guy. Um so in the news, you know, they're like trying to figure out who they are. They they keep saying different things. Can you grab my sushi? Nice late night sushi. Late night um, sushi. It's like New York City. <laughs> I know. Um, so they're trying to figure out who they want to be. Thank God I have money. Um, Don't like, spend all your money on Just buy one 2000 Holy hell, no, yeah. Don't spend money on that. You only need one. I only need the one. Yeah. And I also don't need... Did that work? I'm like, I'm like positive. I think. I think that's how it works. I mean, it's giving they me... Go the... outside and test it. <laughs> Well, I, I still have the uh, flame guard on, but I think you're right because I only had the minor I could have flame sworn guard. I'm pretty sure you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. I, so hope I, I can put my dumb, to go back. put my bucket head helmet back on. Um. So anyway, um. So Stadia, what Stadia doesn't realize, is that they are perfect for one particular audience. They wanted to be like what every executive says that talks about game streaming in public from EA and Microsoft and all these companies is we want to put our games in the hands of more gamers and streaming is the way to do that because they no longer need to buy hardware to do it but there's a paradox in that because gamers love buying hardware we all love owning the latest hardware right like it's a huge 
point of pride to own the latest hardware and to buy the newest Xbox and to wait in line and all that shit, right? Like, we love it. We love upgrading our computers, all that stuff. It's a, it's like, we love doing it. It'd be like buying a skateboard and being like, this is the only skateboard you'll ever need. And it's like, no, man, we, I, I like upgrading my skateboard. Like, I'm into skateboards. I want to upgrade my skateboard. So that's a dumb statement. Um, number one. And then, you know, the other side of the audience, the potential audience, oh, fuck off, um, is casual gamers. And casual gamers don't pay for things. And streaming services are quite expensive. So you're in this paradox of like, my service is good for people that want to pay money to not own hardware anymore. But casual gamers don't want to pay money and hardcore gamers want hardware. So there's no audience anymore. Um, hey, oh, a hero of time. Oh my goodness, it's been a, it's been a while, yeah. Uh, welcome back, Damn, holy I think cow! This is probably one of the latest streams you've ever had. Oh, in a long time. I've been on for three and a half hours too, because my wife's working a, a night shift. I got nothing to do. I'm gonna wake up at like ten and go to the gym. So, yeah, there you go, man. What is up, everyone? Also, we've had like six people in the stream the whole night, so it's been good. Um, so Stadia, you know, they did an interesting thing where like all these other services are pricing themselves out. Right, Blade Shadow, all these different companies, they're pricing themselves out by saying like, hey, you have to pay $40, we're not gonna give you games. And like, this is how it's gonna be, blah, blah, blah. Uh, nobody gives a shit about that, right? Nobody's ever gonna use or pay for that service. Uh, but what Stadia has done, which is interesting, is rather than charge a subscription service, um, they are going to charge basically like steam and they're charging per game purchase fees uh which is very interesting for two reasons and let me get to those reasons after i read this chat so i can see or this text so i can see what the fuck i'm supposed to be doing no. boss wants to know ah. the vault painkillers those better not be narcos His name is Drock with five A's. That's what a name. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and now I get the reference. Okay. Now you now you get it. Now Sorry. I get it. I love the two of the questions are who are you and where am I? <laughs> Somebody tell Link where the fuck he is. He's really hungover. He's like, what happened last night? What the fuck? What the Zelda? Where did Zelda go? <laughs> <laughs> Bye. And that's the other answer. All right, um, so with Google Stadia selling games, they're positioning themselves as a console competitor, whether they'll admit it or not, right? They say that that's not what they want to do. That's a lie. Wait, how do I hit this switch? How do you I do this? You have to hit it. You have to hit it with like your Like physically? Yes. All right. <clears throat> ah, that's totally how that works. So them saying that they're going to sell games, they're a console competitor, but they won't say that, right? They're like, oh, we're not a console competitor. We're our own thing, but they're a fucking console competitor. Um, and once more, can I load myself in here? Is this possible? No. <laughs> Don't lie. I'm going to get in. There we go. I can promise you it's not going to work. Damn. All right. Um, all right. Let me just take a second to explain this because it's going to take a second in general. Scott, hungover link confirm. Also a problem because my mom cuts the land. Oh, the mom coming in with the, <laughs> with the land control. Um, the wireless. Anyway, so uh, let me finish the Google thought. So Google has done something really interesting where they've priced Stadia as a digital storefront as opposed to a subscription service. Um, Pro, the service that's coming out this fall, is a subscription, but it's more like um, like a slightly more expensive uh, Xbox Games with Gold or 
PlayStation Plus because you get one game a month and then you get 4K streaming and nobody gives a shit about 4K yet. So what's going to be really interesting is in 2020, they're releasing a base tier that is completely free to use. But you still have to buy games on Stadia. So they want you to buy AAA games for $60 and, you know, indies for 10 or 15 And then they will stream them to you at no cost, at 1080p. Um, that sets a completely new paradigm for how this is priced because streaming inherently is incredibly expensive. Like the technology is insanely expensive to deliver. So um, what they're doing is setting up essentially like a loss leader to gain uh, a bunch of users. But... What they've done is secretly set themselves up for one particular market that I think is fascinating. That market is parents who aren't gamers that are looking to buy games for their children. Very niche, obviously. I heard you talk about that. Right? Yeah, that's my rant. So, so for the eight people that are in chat right now, the reason that I say Google Stadia is good for parents that aren't gamers is because... Parents that are gamers are going to have consoles or a PC, and so they'll just buy games for their kids on their existing platforms. But if you don't have consoles, if you're not a person that plays games, but you want to be able to buy games for your kid because they want games, your current options are buy a Switch, an Xbox, or a PlayStation, or a PC up front, and then buy games. Your options as of 2020 will be buy one of those consoles or just straight up skip the buying part and skip to... Uh, buying games directly on Google Stadia. So you can save hundreds of dollars by skipping the purchase of physical hardware part and buy the games directly on Stadia. And coupled with that, the other problem with Stadia and just any subscription service in general is latency and artifacting, right? Because like the technology just doesn't match up with the infrastructure that we have. Users don't have the data and, and uh, like uh, connection caps that they need to be able to use these services. So what you're left with is like a not very good user experience where there's an inherent amount of latency. It's not good for competitive, which is huge right now with Fortnite and PUBG and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, who's going to care the least about latency? Children. So parents that aren't gamers that don't already own gaming devices are going to want to buy their games on Stadia for their children and maybe for themselves to get into gaming. That's the niche market that they've cornered. They don't know it. Because if you ask them, they're like, oh, we're going after gamers. Gamers don't give a fuck about Stadia. The only people that care about Stadia in the gaming world that actually care about gaming are early tech adopters that are just excited about new tech all the time, right? They would buy a VR headset or a, a Leap Motion or whatever, right? A Magic Leap. They're the same people. So, like, you know, a thousand guys are going to buy it and play with it. And then parents are going to buy it. So, if Google doesn't figure that out, they're fucked because... That's the only market that cares. Gamers don't give a shit until there's no latency. And there's no latency in the year 2030. So uh, because we need uh, 5G or fiber to be prevalent, and then we need predictive rendering on the cloud, which is, I, I can't even tell you how complicated and data intensive that is. So just assume that that's not going to happen ever. <laughs> uh, God, because it, because you're, even- You're a nerd. Such a nerd. And if it, if it does happen, if predictive rendering actually <laughs> happens, uh, all it's going to do is triple the uh, amount of data that's going to be sent, and so the costs are going to be prohibitive to the point where it doesn't make sense. So, all told, streaming doesn't work. How long do you think Stadia lasts? I think Stadia will serve its purpose for about five years. That's my okay. guess. I think it will Not last bad. for five years. I think it will attract non-gamers. I don't think any of our gamer friends will ever be like, hey, I'm going to start buying games on Stadia. I think the only way that Stadia gets people interested is with exclusives. Oh, no, my thing's not charged. We're going to run in circles. Yo, what's up? Who's in here? What happened? Oh, my God, what it's happened? It's me. Who's me? Who's in me. here? Who did oh, this? Let me scroll. It's Brennan Huff. Brennan Huff. What's going Will, on? Will Farrell is in the channel. Oh, <laughs> he's live. I don't know, man. Tis I, I. Think, I feel like everybody that's ever joined Discord has a deeper voice than me. <laughs> <laughs> I think my voice is deep. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I was going to, you know, I was listening to your rant, and right before you mentioned latency, I was going to mention that, uh, 
I, uh, I've tried the, uh, like, share play on the PS4, which is, like, game sharing, like, uh, like the same thing you were doing where you stream it to a friend's console. And then oh, your yeah, friend plays yeah, it yeah, from your, your console. Play. Yep. It's, it's fucking horrible. It's the, the latency, the lag on it is absolutely awful. And I, I don't even think it would last five years, in my opinion. I think that, uh... Oh, interesting, yeah. I just think that the, uh... The uh, I don't think there's a market for that right now with the technology. You, I think, uh, yeah, I, you're not wrong, dude. Um, well, it's... yeah, and I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I th I agree with every single point you made. I'm just saying, like, like for example, my nephew. I would never let, you know, my nephew play latency games. You know, like, or I mean, uh, stream games because the latency, and uh, you know. And I, I agree with the point that they might not, like, realize the lag and stuff, but, I mean, at the same time, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say, really, but yeah, I think no, you I, get I get it, yeah. You want your nephew to have the same experience that we do, which is not a yeah, city exactly. game experience, like, right? Not a, a fucking horrible experience, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then they're like, wow, this sucks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're not wrong. I mean, look, uh, so my credentials, if it makes sense, is... Uh, I own a company called Jump. It's a subscription service for indie games. Um, uh, we're not going to be a subscription service for long. It didn't really work out on the business model side, but we looked at the technology that was being used for on-demand gaming services. And particularly, we looked at um, streaming, and we were like, wow, this is garbage tech. It's never going to work. And this was in 2015, right? Wow. Uh, and so we started working on something completely different uh using progressive downloads which is essentially what netflix and hulu and all of these services use something what's on fire who's on fire and what's on fire um a shield no what's on fire i don't understand something on my person oh i'm on fire oh no you were wrong opponent motherfucker you were wrong oh god uh did i did I get the shrine? Sorry to interrupt you, in the middle. You need, you need two pieces. F and Fs. Uh, let's see if we can it do this without dying. Yeah. No, you don't need all three, though. Okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, let's play on Zem. Thank you. Um, Hero of Time is asking if Majora is my favorite after all these runs. Majora was a great run. Yeah. Sorry for the interlude in the middle of the, the, uh, the run rant. was the most memorable and <laughs> funniest, and it was first it was like my second full game with Stembo because I met him and this isn't really a question of mine, this is Stembo's question and I kind of just took the spotlight but Majora's stream was fucking phenomenal that but that was so much fun because it was time. only really three people it was just me, Deg, and Grumpy the whole time and that was it and the, the amount of shit we used to give Stembo because <laughs> because Deg donated I, I, Tiro, I don't know Deg too too well, but there's a guy named Deg that doesn't come on too much anymore because of school, and he, you know, he lives in another country now, um, kind of like you. And uh, he donated twenty dollars, and he's like, because I donated twenty dollars, you have to collect all the masks. And collecting those masks was so satisfying to watch. <laughs> it was a good time. It was definitely a great time. I, I had a lot of fun with that. And what was your favorite stream of those steps? I'm curious. It's got to be Ocarina, dude. I mean. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Ocarina, you know that already, but we did a 100% run, and I haven't done that since I was probably like 12. Um, so that was very, very satisfying. That was, uh, that was a hell of a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I've been playing video games since I was like fucking five years old, and I've still never played a Zelda game. Ooh, Yet, first... it's a deeply upsetting first... fact. Um, I know. I remember my first video game. Yeah, what was everybody's first video game? I'd love to hear the chat too. What's, what was your first video game? I was three years on my on my family Nintendo sixty. I was I was playing in my brother's room because I didn't want my parents finding out. It was like eight o'clock at night and I was supposed to be in bed. I was three years old. I was turning four soon, and I played Duke Nukem sixty four, and I fucking nice. loved it. I was three years old playing Duke Nukem. <laughs> yeah, think how bad that is. That's well, like a three year old killing blood naked girls on uh, and my dad walked in grounded me and my brother screamed <laughs> my brother was only my brother's eight years older than me but i think my brother was uh what's eight plus three my brother was 11 when i was three. 
oh my god, I got laid into. Holy <laughs> hell, you have no idea how bad he screamed. Because I remember <laughs> walking in and we tried to shut the TV off right when he opened the door. And he was like, and then he looked at the Nintendo and he was like, why is Duke Nukem in? And I had the controller in my hand. He was too he smart. Was, he knew to look at the console. He, he ripped oh, me up. He knew. I didn't, it's funny because after that, my grandma got me a GameCube a few years later. I didn't touch my GameCube. I hated video games. I didn't like video games until the Gears of War series came around. When Ooh, Gears of War yeah. came out in 2000, when Gears of War 1 came out, I started playing video games again. Well, not even. In 2009 and 2010 is when I really started playing video games. But when the Gears of War series really started, I was so interested. I loved the gore. I wasn't all fucked <laughs> in the head, but I, I thought the physical aspect of the physics of the game, I thought, you know, the way they moved the third, the third part. Uh, the third person shooter was is, has always been my favorite I love third person shooters that's why I love PUBG um, interesting because you know, uh, I play PUBG in first person but I understand first person with PUBG is, is something with me is I do better in first person and I win better because there's no peeking and shit but I yeah. like third person I like them both I like first person and third person I don't know I just I always grew like because i would go to my friend's house in, in like when i was in like seventh eighth grade i would go to my best friend's house and i'd play i played the gears war games and we would play until like six o'clock at night and my mom picked me up and i have so many memories because we would just we wouldn't play online we'd just play against computers and it was just the, um, the greatest time and then i got an xbox for my birthday next thing you know i'm screaming at the tv because people <laughs> are killing me i i become a gamer now i'm now i'm fucking now i'm a hardcore gamer and I'm a nerd but then That's again the, there are only three things I like in this world. I like women, I like video games, and I like sports. I think those are all very valid things to like. Yeah. Oh, what? oh I forgot. I hit the wrong button. My uh, first video game, I believe, was COD 2 in 2005. Yeah. Okay. COD 2? In fucking uh, Oh my god, what a great... Yeah. Modern Warfare 2? or to, like, No, Call COD 2, 2 like nice. 2005, like on the original Xbox, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was very young, but I had brothers. Just kind of like uh, Kevin's story. Very you know. nice, okay. God, yeah, my family one. was big into COD. I'm gonna... I also had a thing where my brothers... I think GTA San Andreas came out in 2004, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Something like that. When it first came out, my brothers got it on the PlayStation 2. And uh, I would go to the room, lights would be shut off, and uh, they would have the cheap book, the really gigantic, big ass books you'd buy. Yep. Those cheap Primus and, strategy uh, guides, dude. And uh, he, my brother, so they would scare me. They tormented me as, ch as a child. It was kind of fucked up thinking about it now. They would zoom in on people's heads with a sniper rifle, like extremely close up, and they'd be like, hey, like, I'm not going to refer to myself in my real name, but I'll just, hey, opponent, look at this. And I'd be like, oh, what? And they'd zoom in on this person's head on a sidewalk and just shoot them. I would, I would literally cry and just run out of the room. <laughs> it was terrifying to me. I was the exact opposite. <laughs> I hated it. I thought it was, I thought it was, I thought it was vulgar. I thought it was disgusting. I thought the games were, I thought the video games were so stupid until I hit like seventh grade, and I was like, this is fucking amazing. It's like anything. I hated anime growing up. Now I love anime. Yeah, you find what you love as you grow up, dude. Yeah, man. I didn't like hockey until I was... Honest to God, I didn't like hockey until I was like a sophomore in high school, man. I liked football growing up the most. Yeah. I was I... a huge football fan, and then hockey came around, and I was like... I started understanding the sport, started playing it, and I was like, holy hell, this sport's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I mean, I grew up playing football and baseball. Um... I never played hockey, but then the Penguins started to make some runs. Because, you know, they made runs when I was young. Bandwagon. 91, 92. Um, but when Crosby came on, everybody was really excited. And I was like, "What's this, who's this Crosby guy? Right? And I decided to start paying attention in, like, 06. When I was graduating high school. The same age as you. Yeah. He, yeah. Him and Malkin. Uh, we're all the same age. We're all buds. My wife. Yenny. Fun fact. My wife held hands with Malkin at a bar in Pittsburgh. When we were in grad school, uh, she passed through all of the waves of slutty girls that got increasingly sluttier as you got close to him in proximity. It was fantastic. Um, just a sight to witness, I'll tell you what. But anyway, um, she just wanted a picture because she was a hockey fan. 
<laughs> and he's like, no, I, I'm too drunk. Um, but anyway, yeah, I, I didn't really discover hockey until uh, the Penguins started to get good again, and then they lost to the Red Wings in 07 and then beat them in 08, something like that, I think. Yep, I remember in 08, in 08 they lost to the Red Wings. That's when Marion Hosa was on <laughs> yeah, the team. That fucking in loser. 09, Marion yeah. Hosa left the Penguins and signed with Went the Red to the Red Wings. Wings. He, lost. he lost both. He has to be the only player so, it is the in history story in the world. That was when Flurry had that nut save, right? That's, or was that a different? Yep, no, that was it. Was the dive? I'll yeah, forever yeah. remember that dive. dive. Game, that game seven, three seconds left. The dive. I'll never I believe forget it was that Malcolm. Save. Was it Lindstrom that shot it at Flurry? I can't remember, oh, but the, the dude, the dive was just so. I don't know. I'll look at. Yeah. I think I, it was either Lindstrom or Cronwall that shot it, and like Flurry dove, and it was, and then Max. Talbot it was definitely was Con. Yeah, it was Cronwall. I remember. Nicholas Cronwall. I love him. Cron, the cr you just got Cron. <laughs> fucking animal, absolute ant. The Rook. Oh, um, we were just giving thoughts on what streaming services earlier. What was I talking about? I got yeah, and how stupid they are. Yes. So my credentials. That's right. So uh, oh, it was Lindstrom. It was no, Lindstrom. Ooh. Damn, I guess I am a genius. Flurry with the dive. Yeah. Uh, I'll never forget that dive because he flopped like a fucking seal. Like if you're pretending like you're a seal, you put your arms down to your sides and flop. That's exactly what Flurry did. Um, but anyway, see so yeah, my you know my credentials for my opinions on cloud gaming is that I founded a company that in 2015 looked at the state of streaming games and decided that it was not viable. And so we built a game service based on progressive downloads like um movies and music use which are viable and would be viable for games because they render locally All right so we send games to your device and they render on your device using your cpu and gpu so it's just as if they were installed but we send them in small chunks so that you're able to get up and running in a matter of seconds and then you can play the games uh using your cpu and gpu so like no latency no quality issues it just runs as if it were installed um but like recently everybody's trying to figure out what to do with streaming and so like disney for example i'm currently on a contract with them to write a white paper for them like a research paper on how they should be working in the cloud gaming space or cloud computing in general and entertainment and what each type of like cloud gaming infrastructure looks like and how it's utilized um so that's kind of my background and that's why i have such strong opinions on game streaming um, I think it's garbage and I think that the reason that it happens because I get this question a lot especially from investors that are like why would you as some rando you know small startup 31 year old know more than Google and Microsoft and Sony and Amazon and all these companies doing game streaming and I say very simply high level executives making low level tech decisions that's the explanation it's people that don't understand what's happening making the decisions and i can tell you the exact reason why i believe that more than ever was because um google stadia's tech team their engineers at the game developer conference in march this year when they announced they made a presentation to other engineers in public you can see it on youtube um that said all these different things about like how the tech worked and you know the issues and all these things that like it's common knowledge that like it's issues and challenges with streaming games but what they also pointed out was that they had done a ton of research into and i'm going to take a second here um they had done a ton of research into what types of games um are workable on a streaming service because latency is imperceptible and what they found out was that first person games you can immediately tell a difference so like first person shooters anything first person it's garbage right you, you immediately tell the difference like i pull the trigger and then a half second later a bullet comes out it's terrible um so that never works third person games <clears throat> excuse me third person games um work better it's less detectable so uh they when they did their project stream test in 2018 it was with assassin's creed odyssey Third person game, you couldn't really tell, right? Very smart. They chose that game. And then omniscient games like um, real time strategy games and such, you can't tell it at all, right? You have no idea that there's any latency. So it's perfect for a streaming service. So the engineers are well aware that first person's bad, third person's okay, and omniscient is perfect. 
Uh, and then a month later, or t I guess two, three months later, um, at E3, uh, Google Stadia comes out and says, hey, we're launching this fall, and the game that you're going to get is Destiny 2 for free if you subscribe. And what's Destiny 2? It's a first-person shooter. So their engineers that work at Google Stadia are saying, first-person shooters are terrible. Please don't put first-person shooters on this platform. And the executives are like, no, we need Destiny. That's the game that we need because everybody's still definitely playing Destiny 2. Uh, meanwhile, there's like a thousand guys that are still playing Destiny 2. But like on top of all of it, it's just it's the disconnect between the executives and the actual team that's working on the tech. So what you get is high level executives making low level tech decisions and you're left with Google Stadia. So that is my opinion on game streaming. Um, I hope Google's not watching the stream because I'm going to try to make them hire me next year to fix game streaming because I think it's shit and they need, to, oh, they need to understand what their positioning in the market is. I, I just, they have a market and they're not addressing it. Well, you're not hating on Google, so, you're hating on their decisions. I'm hating on their positioning, exactly. I, I think that they should go after the parents. Um, there's no reason for them to not go after parents, right? So, nerd. there we have it. Did you say nerd? <laughs> Damn it. Nerd is it. All right. Nerd culture is mainstream. What's that uh, Parks and Rec quote? Nerd culture is mainstream. So by calling me a nerd, you're the one not in the zeitgeist. No, I'm a nerd too. Fuck <laughs> I'm really uh, tired. And on that note, I, I'm going to go to bed because it's 430 in the morning. It is quite late. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So get a few more strides done, rookie. And uh, hopefully you stream rookie. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> All right, hey, it was a uh, it was a real blast hanging out tonight, man. It's a it's the longest yeah, show I've done in a long time. It's been nice, good. Nice meeting you, Brendan. Hey, Sir Fat, yeah. I know you're asleep right now. Get some more sleep. All right, Sir. Hey, good meeting you, man. Drink your water for God's sakes. See you guys. Stay in touch, all right? Peace. All right, take care, dude. Get some rest. So, Brendan, tell me your life story. Where do you live? What's going on? Tell me all the things. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. My address, uh, my social security number, yeah, and... you know, all the things that I need to steal your uh, identity. But, <laughs> but leave out the boring stuff like what you're into. I don't, I don't need to know that stuff. Well, like, like I said, when I came in here yesterday, it was, you know, I was looking for, uh, I'm looking to buy a switch. Yeah. So I'm from Minnesota, that's why I'm a Wild fan, but mm. I'm also a Columbus fan. So are, um, are you looking to, this quick question, are you looking to buy a, uh, oh, this is bad, why do I have this out? Uh, a Switch, um, light when they come out, or? No, no, okay. fuck those things. Okay. You want one no, that just, to your TV like this one? Just, just the one, yeah, the one you're using, you know, yeah, just yeah. the normal Switch. Yeah, I, I'm interested in one, and I think it would be nice to have, first of all, I think, uh, and I'm watching these videos online, you know, because PS4 and PC lately for me have been getting pretty dry. Not a lot of games that I can play that are new and, you know, to me, like, I don't want to spend $60 on some games on PS4 that I'll play once. But Agreed. I also don't feel like replaying the games that I've played 50 times. So then I was like, oh, well, the Switch. So I started doing research on, like, new games that have come out. And there's just tons of games that I've never even heard of that are... Not even that I haven't heard of games that I have have heard of, and I found out they're on the Switch, and that like I used to play those games on PS4 and I mean PS3, like Skyrim for example on the PS3 I played the shit. Then I found out that was on the Switch. I was pretty interested in that. But anyways, but besides the fact that um, I was really interested in the Switch just to have like because fucking PS4 is getting boring to me nowadays. I, uh, there's nothing really for me to play and. Uh, so I started doing research on the Switch, and, uh, you know, I'm watching these videos, I'm like, well, first I'm going to start with, is it worth it? Is it worth me spending, you know, the money on it, or whether I ask for it as a Christmas gift, is it worth, you know, worth it? Yeah. And so you, you watch these videos on, uh, I started watching these videos on YouTube, right? And, uh, started noticing that all of these people that are saying, yes, yes, buy this, get the Switch, the Switch is awesome are also the people who Nintendo sent them every single piece of their Nintendo Switch that they did not pay for. And okay. so I was like, well, I'm not getting the true opinion here. I mean, these people just got sent this shit. Of course they're going to say yeah. Right. You know, so then I started going in Twitch streams 
and that's when you know i went into it like no actually you were the first person i went into because there's not a lot of people streaming breath of the wild which i'm surprised it's weird because uh, yeah speedruns are still pretty popular but eh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right now yeah and uh but uh i've also noticed there's a lot of females that stream this game like more than uh, i'd say like probably 55 percent of the people streaming this game were females which i was surprised about not that that's any i'm not saying that's sex i'm not saying anything sexist or anything i was just surprised no, um, in the gaming world 50 50 50 is like pretty rare right i understand yeah well yeah that's what i'm saying yeah yeah and uh and uh and i was i was looking for like a someone who has the same interests as me and uh so i went in i went into like your stream and right away you gave me the answer like i was looking for like <laughs> yes and you actually went in depth with me though you know like telling me all this shit then you right away the first thing you recognized was the name so i had to drop the follow <laughs> um and then uh and then you went offline and so then i went and i hopped on some other people's streams uh, and i wasn't getting a lot of responses from like some of the females so i was going into like guy streams and uh and i was just asking the same question you know is the switch worth it um, because I wanted to get people's opinion who actually spent their hard-earned money on it, not people yeah. who just got sent the product. Right. And uh, and I get the same answer from every single person. I haven't had one person say, honestly, I regret. I regret. Um, and, uh, and like I said, I, I think it'd be a great hand-me-down too, or like once I beat Zelda and beat Odyssey or whatever hand it down to like you know nephew or fr you know friends or my brothers to play like my brother was a huge ocarina of time fan oh yeah and i've never i've never played it <laughs> and so we pulled out the what actually i got into the hype of the switch like all of a sudden like i said i got really into like the switch i really wanted a switch but the only way i was getting it without dropping 500 dollars of my own money was christmas so then i was like oh well what can i play then to burn time and so that's when I grabbed out my my N64. Well, really, my family's from a long time ago. And my brother's like, "Oh, we'll play Ocarina of Time." You know, if you're looking to play Breath of the Wild, that Ocarina of Time is Breath of the Wild, but my era. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like my holy shit, that game looks awesome. Yeah. So I, I went and looked for Ocarina of Time, and it was missing. It's <laughs> not in our game collection. So. <laughs> So I haven't played that yet. So late recently, I've just been playing 64 Mario. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've just been going in people's streams, and uh, I get the same answer every time. And so then I was—I never watch Twitch streams. There, I have to really like a stream in order to actually sit down and watch it. Yeah, I totally like, agree. Yeah, there's like um, four that I'm into. Right? It's yeah, yeah, it took exactly. Me a while to get to four. And uh, so I've never been a big Twitch fan, but when I do find a streamer, I usually stick with them for quite a while. And uh, I I went back on your stream. I saw you were playing Smash. I was looking to see if uh, any of the streamers I followed that recognized the Brennan Huff were were uh, streaming. And uh, it was just you and you are playing Smash. So I decided to hop in there, and that was actually a lot of fun just to even watch. Yeah, I'm glad, man. It's, uh... Yeah, we... I was consistent for a while, I'll say, um, but like uh, between the Disney gig that I have now and um, this other gig that I'm working on, and I also have my startup still, it's been very hard to be consistent, and so I feel bad because like being a streamer is consistency is kind of like priority number one. Um, so yeah, I, that's, I mo that's, yeah, right. So I mostly do it for fun, um, and it's it's obviously been a ton of fun. Um, but uh, no, I, I oh shoot, I don't have any of those eras. Um, I appreciate you, uh, what the fuck? What just happened? Oh, my bomb exploded because I pulled out a bomb. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Uh, oh, what the hell? Yeah, because I pulled it out on Death Mountain, so it auto-exploded, and so I'm almost dead now. Uh -huh. uh, but anyway, no, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, it's, um, it's been very fun to stream. It's very rare that, that new people show up because I don't, like, advertise the stream. I mostly just let people show up organically, which is obviously not a good way to run a stream. But very hard, yeah. Yeah, um, but I'm not trying to be a pro streamer because I, uh, my wife and I travel a lot. Like, this weekend we're going to, uh, I don't know. We're going to Portland this weekend just to, like, drink beer and have a time. And so, you know, obviously I don't want to. That's awesome, yeah. Well, yeah. 
Yeah, and that's the thing with uh, streamers, you know, big streamers is they stop streaming because they put it into their full-time job and then they let that, you know, it's just like going to vacation to the same spot multiple times. Or, no, the saying is you don't want to live in Hawaii because then that's your daily life, you know? Yeah, exactly, that, right. That's, it's... then, well, well, it gets boring because you're there all the time. It's just, I, I believe it's the same thing for literally everything, just like streaming. Like Once the big streamers make that their big-time job, they get bored of it quick. Like you see streamers taking these breaks for eight months and just because they're, you know, it's, it's hard when you're a big streamer like that, but when you do it for fun, that's, that's when streaming is best. It's yeah. when you're just streaming for fun. Yeah. It's, because totally it, it's been, it's been very enjoyable, right? It's, yeah. You, you got to look out for number one. You can't <laughs> be like, Oh, instead of spending time with my wife or instead of, you know, going out with my buddies, I got to stream just right. because I got people waiting to watch me play video games, you know? And, yeah, you know that that's when people's you know when people say like oh streaming's miserable because they they take their social life out of the picture just to stream for people yeah yeah it's uh it's as you'll learn just from uh you know my updates on discord and such i'll i try to stream like monday to thursday and then fridays potentially and, and sundays potentially like those are kind of up in the air but like you know tuesday night i went to a concert so i didn't stream uh, yeah. And Wednesday night I had to work a lot, so I didn't stream. So like it just happens, and so everybody's nice about it. I'm never going to be a big streamer because of it, but that's okay. I don't want, you know, I, my goals are very different. So it's just fun to yeah, exactly. hop on the stream and play. But um, yeah, back to your point. Yeah, I highly that. recommend the Switch, dude. It's it's a really good console, just mostly because the IP is so good. Like Odyssey and Breath of the Wild are two of the best games that have come out in a very long time, honestly. And especially if you like. Nintendo IP, it's it's very hard to beat. Um, so would definitely recommend a Switch. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see what I can do. I uh, like I said, I, I you know it was it was killer to me to see you guys playing fucking Smash Bros and all that, and you know people leaving and shit, and just like oh, if I had a Switch, we'd hop. I can play Smash, but no. I, uh, I respect Nintendo, though. I, at first, I thought it was a really stupid idea on their part to make online price-wise. like price -wise. Yeah. But nowadays, literally every console has that. They and I think they could have taken yeah. advantage of the fact that they could say, oh, well, we're the only console that doesn't pay you don't have to pay to play our games online, you know, to play with friends. They could have taken advantage of that, like the PS3. But honestly, that, you know, that didn't stop people from buying Xbox 360s back in the day. Yeah, um, exactly. Just because of that reason. And so I get why they... And I, I respect them 100% for only making it $20. Like, when I found out, like, I was like, oh, well, I won't even buy Switch online if I do get a Switch, because I'm looking to play Breath of the Wild Odyssey and then, like, local Smash with my brothers. But then when I found, I was, like, I was watching, like, some YouTube video or something, and, like, the, they were like, oh, well, one of the accessories you need is online. Like, like, you need to buy online. It's only 20 bucks for a year. I was like, 20 bucks for a year? What? And yeah. so I respect them a lot for that. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, it, that's what yeah pretty much nothing yeah two dollars a month less than that right yeah so yeah it's uh you know nintendo center uh, they by and large won this current console war what's interesting is that they're kind of off cycle it's like the wii u came out and then a few years later the switch came out and so like the wii u is kind of concurrent with the other um console generation but the Switch is in between, and so the next generation of other consoles is going to launch before Switch 2 launches. But like, Switch Pro might launch. Maybe that'll be. Oh god. Oh fuck! I thought I was out of his range. Um, maybe that'll be a thing. Like Switch Pro will be a thing, right? But yeah. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's largely just gonna stand on its own, which is super interesting. And so they're not gonna really have to compete with other folks. Well, and to find out that with how, like, minimal the hardware is in the Switch compared to, like, a PS4 or a buffed-up PC, the fact that it doesn't crash at all. Right. Like, seeing these seeing these games with, the, like, Breath of the Wild right now watching you, like, these visual, like, you know, all of the different textures and everything, how that doesn't crash just amazes me. But yeah, they did a very good job of, of marrying the hardware and the software. It's why, like, Apple products are so good, because they control both the hardware and the software, right? So... Yeah. I think kind of massive this world is. We can see all the way over to this other area, right? There's a tower over there, and there's another boss that I fought, and it's crazy. Like, yeah. 
by far the coolest thing about this game is that you can see miles across the map and uh, you can actually go there and people do it in this in speedruns because uh, they, they glitch and, and do what, what's a bullet time bounce right and uh, they can fly across the map in seconds well yeah I see these people like chopping down trees but then like freezing mm -hmm. the tree Mm -hmm. and then jumping on it and shooting an arrow at it or something. I don't know what the shooting the arrow does to it. But... Yeah, you and then all of a sudden they just yeah. like launch. Yep. Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, there's this... Uh... People find, man, for speedruns. It's fucking amazing. I love speedruns. So this game... Never you... personally tried one, though. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It'd be... It's so much dedication. You can beat this game in um, under a half hour now. And then it's no, I've seen a half hour. I know. Well, uh, it's exactly it is. I watched some dude literally walk out of the spawn area, run right to the kingdom. And then he just grabbed loot in the kingdom before fighting Ganon. And then fucking, yeah, it's... Yeah, and that's, that's it, what yeah. that's what it, I thought was so cool about the game, too, is like right off the bat, you want to just go fight the boss fight? You can go buy, fight the boss fight if you want. Yeah, but you gotta go through, you know, you're gonna get screwed 99% of the time. I mean, you gotta put hours into this game to be able to do that. Yeah. To be able to fight the main boss. I mean, watching people play this game on normal mode, and they sometimes take some 20 minutes to get past one boss minimum, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a nuts. Very, it's a very new thing, for sure. Oh my. Oh, the bombs. Oh my god, I keep doing this. I keep taking the bomb arrows out and then fucking dying immediately. Uh, I don't know, man. I really need ancient arrows, but I don't want to go reset to do this. So I guess I'm just gonna shoot. Oh, it's so bad, though. Like, I have no idea what any of that shit in your inventory is. <laughs> There's a lot of things happening, I can tell you that. This boat's probably gonna catch on fire and die. I'm gonna kill this guy first. Well, I thought what, what I, at first I thought was stupid was the whole things can break but that just makes the thrive to go get more loot just exactly. so much more yeah like okay we'll give you this overpowered sword and not, like i'm not talking about the master sword but compared to if they just said okay now you got the best sword in the game and it can't now you know if they made it so it doesn't break now you have the best sword in the game well now what do i do now what do i work towards because now i have the best thing in the game that was just like with skyrim once you get all the daedric armor and stuff it's just like yeah. well what do i do now right you know? I can go do main quest, but I one shot everybody in the main quest. Right, so it's like a boring experience. Or side quest. Yeah, exactly. And so with with this system to be able to go out and you know just like your boat right now, once that once it breaks, you got to go find a new one. Right. If you love that bow so much, you got to go and work your ass off to get another. I actually really enjoy it a lot. I thought I would be annoyed by it, but it's not even close to annoyed. It's it's great. Yeah. It, it makes you work for it. You have to fight for it. I mean, I'm wasting all of my ammo, but I've been collecting it forever for like these precise moments. What the fuck else am I gonna do with? Yeah. 88 ice arrows, right? So there we go. You're dead. So is there any way you could just fucking run past those things, or would you, they just follow you and destroy you? So what they tell you before this is that if you're detected, um, the boss up oh, on I the see. hill there will start shooting like hellfire down at you. Uh. So. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So here we'll try to sneak past these next ones just for posterity. Um, I'll save here. Come back. I need, uh, I need those, those lizards. Make elixirs. All right, so this guy's circling around. Right, where's, so as long as you don't go in that little red area under right. him. Yeah, so if I get gotcha. past this red area. Oh, but they saw the guy. All right, so let's see what happens. Oh, he's gonna be oh, pissed. Oh, he's digging in. All right. Out of the way. Not good. Oh my God, yeah. Oh, what? Uh, <laughs> Oh god, I'm down to a quarter health. All right. Uh, let's eat all the things to get back to better health. Oh my god, one it's so I, bad. One thing I really liked about the idea of the switch too, holy fuck, was uh, was the fact that you know I bring my PS4 like back and forth between houses, 
and that's you know it's not bad but it's kind of a massive pain in the ass at the same time and then with the switch you can either just bring it handheld or the little tiny dock that's you know the size of two phones you just freaking put that little thing in your backpack and some cords and you're good to go so good dude it's very good wait where's this idiot yeah it's uh i mean i like to play it hooked up i the only time i ever play it mobile is when i'm traveling uh, which is yeah. also great i mean imagine being able to take the best one of the best zelda games and one of the best mario games with you um on planes right yeah exactly well plane rides are so boring you know, try right. to find like that would probably make them go by so fast it's so good all right come on dummy are you kidding me that's a i've ghost. never i i never see people in public with the switch that's it i don't know I, I think the switch is one of those things that like you know like my buddies in real life that have the switch like one of them my buddy's brother he owns the switch but he doesn't own breath of the wild you know so it's like uh, how am I supposed to take his opinion on whether the Switch is worth it when he doesn't own literally like the best game that's on the Switch? Yeah, like, seriously. Okay, well you haven't played the one game that everyone buys the Switch for. Right. And so... How can you trust you know, that, man? Yeah, exactly. So, like for example, like the two, the two, the Pokemon, Eevee, and Pikachu, whatever they are, are yeah. is there no difference between the two besides like what Pokemon you start with? Yeah. Or... Okay, he bought both the games. He bought both of them. Why would he do that? That's what I'm saying. No, so uh, his okay. opinions out of the window. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's not an opinion you can trust. Yeah. And so. Uh, oh, this you idiot know, goes all the way back. Oh no, dude! I need to fight these guys. I'm out of arrows for fuck's sake. Does the dummy have to follow you? Like he does. For the quest. Yeah, the quest is to get that's him to. Stupid. Oh, this is dumb. I'm gonna waste all these arrows. The only thing I don't like about the Switch is the motion controls. I, I'm not a huge fan of those, and the fact that in Odyssey, for certain parts, if you have to like climb a pole to get to the top of a building in the New York City or New Donk City, whatever it's called, <laughs> you have to shake City. the controller. Yeah, it's called yeah. New Donk it City. It is. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yep. Yeah. And to sh you have to shake the shit out of your controller to climb up fast. Like I get it. But like, if you're playing in handheld mode with no controller, you're just playing with the Joy Cons attached. You're gonna be shaking the shit out of your controller, and then you can't see anything. You yeah. Know? It's and so it's like I'm not a huge fan of those. I don't know if they put any thought into that. Besides, oh, this will be cool. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. That's that's the only thing that I really had a problem with. And then the only thing that I am nervous about is will you know, like I said, will it be worth it? Will it be worth my money? And will it be one of those things that I play for? Then the new Call of Duties or whatever come out, and then I'm back on PS4. I don't touch the thing ever again. But I, I've, I've, like I said, I went into other people's streams who were in the exact same position as me. Like, not big in Nintendo, you know. They don't like. I own a 3DS. I have the N64. You know, like I played Super Mario or 3D Land or whatever. You know, I played those games. I've never played a Zelda game, and that's one reason why I want to get the Switch. Is for Breath of the Wild, which is debatably the best Zelda besides Ocarina of Time. And uh, yeah, those would be my two favorites. Um, yeah, that's what everyone says. But I, I, I asked other people, and they were in the exact same situation. And uh, people were just like, "Oh, I, I pulled the trigger, and uh, I haven't, you know, I haven't touched my PS4 since. Or when I do, it's only because only, my other buddies only have the PS4." And. Uh, Fuck. One thing I look at. Oh yeah, damn! It barely saw you. One thing I look at too is, um, like when I'm telling like my brothers, you think the Switch is worth it? And they're like, no, 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 no. I, I, I you know, I, I think that's only, you know, it's got to be one of those things where once you actually play it and you own it, you can say whether it's worth it or not. You know? Like yeah. when I say, should I get a Switch? And they say no. Well, it's like, okay, but, you know, they're my brothers, so I take their opinion. But then at the same time, it's like, well, also they haven't, They've played Smash once with their buddies or whatever, you know, so how can I trust that? Right. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I think going into the Twitch streams is the by far the best bet you have. Also, I'm very sad that that was the way that you killed these guys. I wasted a billion arrows, almost literally. 
Yeah, I was just about to say, that was a big brain move to very, use those. Very sad that that just happened. Uh, so yeah, I mean, your, your brothers, uh, they're entitled to their opinions, but... Uh, fuck is this guy? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Just standing there. Um, you know, it's whatever you want, right? If you want Mario and Zelda games, this is the, this is the console to get. Um, it's got two of the best games in history on it, right? So that's hard to argue with. Um, yeah, and that, that's just like the N64. Like, I love the N64, but there's only like four games that I play on it. You know, like Bomberman, uh, Super Mario, uh, or, you know, 64, and, you know, a couple other games, you know, but that still goes down as one of the best consoles in history. Uh, of course, yeah. It had so, it just broke so many barriers, right? Yeah. It was so good. My wife is still doing cases. Sometimes, so when she's on these night shifts, sometimes she can actually sleep. They have rooms where they can go sleep. But uh, sounds like tonight is not not one of those nights, unfortunately. Wait, say that again? So my wife is a nurse anesthetist. They are like an anesthesiologist, but they... She took the path through nursing as opposed to going through med school. So she got a master's gotcha. and, and all these things. And, and so she does what an anesthesiologist does, like manages airways, manages the anesthesia, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, this week, one so one week a year, she has to do night shifts, uh, 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. It's, it's terrible. Yikes, um, yeah. But uh, if there's no cases, she gets a room where she can go sleep. So yesterday she just slept um, for eight hours and you know got paid to do it, which is incredible. <laughs> uh, but today, I think it's the opposite. I think she's going to be up all yeah. night. She said, yeah, I just started another case. That's what she said. <laughs> So, but it's the last night tomorrow, you know, tomorrow we're relaxing Sunday. We fly out to Portland to just like have a, you know, long weekend, little trip. Um, yeah. Yeah. so she'll, she'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, it sucks. She's like, are you still awake? And I was like, yeah, but by choice, <laughs> um, you know, she'll, she'll be awake for five more hours before she gets to come home. So, yeah, yeah but she gets paid huge bucks. They think. Yeah. For, they, yeah. Anesthesiologist makes a lot of money. And so I, I presume that that's pretty similar boy oh boy they make good money yeah so and good health benefits and stuff so well worth it it's just you know the night shift week is, is not fun so she's she's sad but it's the last night she'll be fine she'll make it back all right so i think uh this is where i'm gonna call it quits i do not feel like doing another divine beast because i've been on stream <laughs> four hours i don't know if i've ever done a four hour stream i didn't even pay attention i was just having fun with everybody here but it's also four hours. 2 a.m. Rookie numbers. I know, right? 2 a.m. It's 4 here. Jesus, dude. Go to bed. My God. I'm a... My sleep schedule is fucked, dude. Oh, I'm, no. not, I'm not worried about <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm an old man by Twitch standards, so uh, 4 a.m. Is, uh, <laughs> is quite late. But, uh, no, I mean, hey, thanks for hanging out, dude. Thanks for the sub. That's oh, really yeah, fun for sure. Early. Yeah. Um, Glad to glad to have a fellow now uh, that is a uh, Wii Fit trainer man. Glad uh, welcome to the gang. I'm converted. He called me. So he yeah, now you, you can't use any other character, just her. <laughs> you come back just unsub. Yeah, if I ever am using another character, just unsub. Uh, what am I seeing? Uh, yeah. Who is this? Who is this Ness man? And what's he doing? That doesn't look like the Wii Fit trainer. <laughs> uh all right man hey uh have a have a good long weekend everybody else out there also have a good long weekend um pleasure chatting with you dude um yeah yeah for sure yeah and i might be on tomorrow i'm not entirely sure we'll see what goes on uh tomorrow evening i don't have any plans and our, our flight on sunday doesn't leave until like noon so oh nice uh, yeah, yeah just say something in this discord i got notifications on in here so i'll see it on my phone Sounds good, man. Well, hey, uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday and Saturday, and then uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next stream. Yeah, yeah, you too. And you too, Sir Faddington. But <laughs> I think you are passed out on the floor somewhere. So God, I wish we would have clipped all of I don't think you face. can hear us. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad nobody clipped his Peter Piper, but you know what? I know it wasn't recorded. Or was it? What no. was that one thing you had? It, no, it was. It was. What, did you what did you have him say? God, it started with a P. Whatever you had on the say, I was dying. Uh, oh, what was it?
It wasn't Peter Piper. It was, um, well, he struggled mightily with that. That was hilarious. What was the other thing that he said? It was like, P, like a word that started with a P followed by another word that started with a P. I don't remember. Mm. I don't remember. Well, Check can, the VOD or something. Yeah, we can go back to the tape. Uh, yeah, I upload all this shit to YouTube, so uh, I just want to like document that I actually beat all these games in a row. Oh, um, I see. Yeah. So, yeah, this is 19th Zelda game of this year. It's insane. 19th. Dude, 19th. Yeah. they have 19 Zelda games. And number... how, the, how the fuck is somebody, so, like my age, how is somebody, me, who never grew up with the Zelda games, supposed to go back and play 19 Zelda games? I can like, tell you, you only need actually uh, three devices. You need... Uh, I assume the 3DS, the Switch, mm -hmm. and the 64. Uh, you actually only need a 3DS, a Switch, and a Wii U. Um, mm. because oh, yeah, because Ocarina is on the 3DS, isn't it? There's a ton of stuff on the Wii U, surprisingly. The Wii U Virtual Console has um, Ocarina. It has Majora's Mask, but it also has uh, Phantom Hourglass. Um, it has uh, Spirit Tracks, which are both DS games. Then it has Twilight Princess HD, Wind Waker HD um and what else like the the virtual console has like everything that you would need i played most of the games on the the wii u ironically um but then you need uh you know, super nintendo so you can get a link to the past also on the wii u um the nintendo games zelda 1 and zelda 2 you can do on your switch uh so really it's yeah switch wii u and a 3ds i think you maybe it might miss like one game in that mix but um Eesh. Those three will cover all the Zelda games almost. Um, so it's been good. Uh, and then uh, game number 20 releases on uh, September 20th because they're redoing Link's Awakening. So that'll come yeah, out. Yeah, like, not like, too sure weeks. how I look on that game. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think it looked very good, but at the same time, I didn't really watch any trailers. So if you I never did. played, because you never played any Zelda game, right? Um, no, and I was just about to say I have played a tiny like I'm, t I'm talking like 20 minutes of a link to the past a couple like a week ago i tried to play it mm -hmm. if that like last this tuesday i tried mm -hmm. to play it and i just couldn't i couldn't do it i i, I it was just, i was so bored I, I got through like you know like zelda's calling out to you that she's trapped in the dungeon or whatever it is <laughs> in the bottom of the castle and i got into the castle and i was like yeah this is stupid <laughs> well hey yeah uh... To each their own, I can tell you that uh, a Link, Link's Awakening is, uh, or sorry, um, a Link to the Past is in my top five uh, as, as really? like, the entire game goes. Oh, it's so good. But if you can't get past the beginning, I mean, I didn't get get past the beginning of uh, Skyrim, so I understand. Everybody loves Skyrim, and I get that's, a lot of shit for that. That's true. Yeah. So, so I get it. But um, Sky, How did you not get past the beginning of Skyrim? I know. I got my first shout, and I was like, this is boring, and then I just never went back to it. I don't know. That's just, I got bored. What are you going to do, right? Everybody has their own things. Um, well, that's exactly it, yeah. yeah. But, that's uh, why. But Link's Go ahead. Awakening, yeah, I'd say Link's Awakening, um, it's a very good entry in the series, uh, but it was so slow pacing-wise because it was an original Game Boy game. So, like, I played this shit when I was eight, right? Um, it was really, really old. But, like, the story and the way that it's all set up is very good. So, um I think the art is like cutesy and it's more approachable for anybody that wants to play a Zelda game. But largely, um, if the story translates, it should be a really fun game because the biggest problem with that game was that it was just really slow to get around. And I think they fixed that in the new one. So I'm I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it on stream. So I'm hoping that I finish my... I'm going to do 120 Shrines of this as like my cap off to finishing all the current Zelda games. And I should be able to finish that around the same time that I... Uh, or that game releases, and then I'll just go right into uh, playing Link's Awakening on stream. So uh, that'll be game number 20. Yeah, gotcha. mm. Jesus, dude. Yeah. 20 of them. 20 My fucking God. games. Yeah, it's been, uh, it gets exhausting because it's a lot of puzzle solving, right? And just get on there's no and... way, there's no way that you, there's, like, is there any Zelda games that you didn't like, that you're like, this is the fucking boring? Oh, 100%. Um, Zelda 2 yeah. is a garbage game um on, yeah. on the nes oh my god it's impossible number one it took forever to beat and i beat it with save states can you imagine trying to beat it without save states like it took me days to beat without or with save states yeah it was impossible it was terrible um 
and then there were the um well scott i don't know if scott's still here but he would hate me for saying this but um the oracle games oracle of ages and oracle of seasons are they're fine but like they're very slow paced and you have to do them back to back to get the full experience because they're linked and so like both games are 16 hours each so in like the 30th hour of the second game you're just bored um, yeah yeah so there was some grinding to this stream for sure um doing um phantom hourglass and spirit tracks back to back was also a grind because they're largely the same game uh with like kind of one big difference that made spirit tracks a lot better um just like one temple that was missing essentially from the second game and it made it a lot better but like that some grind is for sure but all the 3d games are so good like play play all the 3d games if you didn't like like the past totally understand that game was made in like 91 but you know start with ocarina of time and work your way all the way through all the 3ds you know twilight princess wind waker they're all very very good games you if you liked skyrim if you like rpgs in general like they're some of the best games that you'll ever play in my opinion yeah that's 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 where i stand I know, I know you're about to get off, but I got one last question. Mm -hmm. So, so with the, uh, so with the Switch, like, okay, when you watch people, like, obviously with the Switch, it doesn't come with what you need, you know, like, Pro Controller kind of need it. Actually, I, I got a couple questions to go along with this. This shouldn't take too long, though. Yeah, of course. Um, with first is a controller situation, and second is. I got a quick question. Do you use a screen protector? Ah, okay. So um, I can tell you that I, there's I, like a big debate with this, like whether you actually need a screen protector. Uh, I don't have a screen protector and I've never even put a nick on my screen. Uh, and I carry it with me constantly. Every time I fly, which is perpetually, uh, I probably fly like 10 times a year. Um, I've never had a single tiny little nick make it in there because I have a carrying case. So um yeah you, know, you buy a soft shell carrying case for 20 bucks put it in there it stores your cartridges too and when you travel it's in there and it never gets cut up and like when you're in person using it at your home or even when you're traveling it's very hard to scratch um it's pretty stable so i don't think you need a, a screen protector um and like i'm a, an iphone guy that's owned screen protectors in the past I, I don't think you need a screen protector for your switch um as far as yeah, you, yeah. as far as controls go um, I used joy cons with a little dock for the longest time, but I started to get joy con drift. Like one of my, um, analog sticks was drifting recently. And that's like a problem that Nintendo was actually getting sued about. And now they're saying, well, you can send your joy cons in and we'll fix your joysticks for you for free. Um, so, but I was like doing this playthrough when my joy cons were drifting. And so, uh, if you see on my stream, I have above my head, like a little, um, was it a tip goal? So I set my tip goal for a pro controller and last week we hit the pro controller. So like we, oh, gotcha. I got a pro controller because it's just so much better. So like it is a, a, a much kind of uh, objectively better experience to play with something like this. Uh, yeah. even, even to play games like Smash, it's just way better. It's like a very, very nice controller. The haptics are good, yeah. all that stuff. But what I can tell you is that for the first two years that I owned a Switch, I used the Joy-Cons plugged into the little Joy-Con holder and it was fine. So like, yeah. unless you're looking for a pro experience, you really don't need the pro controller. Now that I have it, I know that it's nicer, but like you would never know. It's it's perfectly functional if your Joy-Cons work and, and like, I think the ones that are shipping now are broken. So um, yeah. you wouldn't run into the same issues that I had. So like you can use the Joy-Cons without having to buy a pro controller and, and like they hook them into a, a separate little like fake, I don't know where it is, over here. Um, so you get this thing with your switch i believe yeah I yeah no i know what you're talking about yeah 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 and so this works just fine this with joy cons is great you you really don't need a pro controller unless you feel like it's inadequate so like i would not go out planning to buy a pro controller unless you feel like you need it uh i would try the joy cons plugged into that and see how you feel because it's perfectly functional it does what you need it's it's enjoyable like you're not gonna you know you're not gonna hate it um yeah yeah it's not gonna feel like an xbox controller but like it's gonna feel fine and, and then you can hook the same joy cons up to your uh to your switch when you're traveling and you know you get the same experience so i think it's and that optional. that goes on controllers with, optional. yeah that goes on with the next thing i was gonna say with with how you mentioned the xbox controller now there's adapters you can buy out there 
to that make your PS4, your Xbox controllers, all these controllers that like, like I've used a PS4 controller and an Xbox controller my whole life, you know, those controllers. And like, just for example, like playing the NES, or I mean the N64 now, the controller, like so much of a different change for my hands and like, and how just for example, like how <laughs> on, uh, on the, the pro controller, how the joystick on the left is way up compared to the joystick on the right is way down. And how, you know, like, just like on the Joy-Cons and how on the PS4, they're both dead center. And so, like, for preference of a controller, there's an adapter with no latency lag or anything. At least that's what they advertise. Right. And um, that it's just a USB that you plug into your uh, your dock and then you use Bluetooth to connect your controller, like your PS4 controller. Because the, the adapter, like, a, somehow makes it Bluetooth, like, worthy or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then you can just use your PS4 controller and it registers as a pro controller to the switch. So like the switch will tell you like what buttons to hit and everything still. It's not like it glitches out or anything like that. Interesting. Okay. And so, so for there to be an adapter for 20 bucks, it's, it's tough because it's not like money's an issue. Like it's for Christmas, for example. So if, if I wanted to ask for the pro controller, I can ask for the pro controller, but that's whether I want to do that over, you know, like getting a different game or something like that, you know? Right whether it's worth getting a game or the pro controller and uh and so like would it be more worth and i know you haven't played with the adapter so you don't know and i'm you know everybody who has usually these reviewers say the pro controller is your best bet obviously that's nintendo's shit you know that's what they need. and so that's like the best for your, best thing for the switch but it's all it all depends like bang for your buck you know right like, is it worth me spending $70 on a controller or spending $20 on an adapter to use a controller that I already own, you know? So um, what I would say is, are, are you planning to get the Switch first and then ask for a controller separately? Or are you thinking about, like, the same time, the, like, all, uh, same everything time. at the same time? Yeah. Um, so it's a little tougher because I, I would say try it with just the Joy-Cons in the dock or, like, the little uh, the thing that I showed you first. Because I, yeah, I think that I've pro- held that before. Like okay. just today, I went to Target just yeah. to dick around, like with yeah. the Switch at Target, and you know, I, I felt it. You know, it's not bad, but like, you know, it's not a, a legit controller, <laughs> yeah, yeah. if you know what I mean. Like you, you would adjust pretty quickly, and I don't know if it would bother you too much in just the game. Like you know, Mario and and um, and Zelda are not like competitive games, so you would adjust pretty quickly. But uh, my, even though I haven't used the adapters, like you said, I think my opinion on first party versus third party is always get first party. Um, and I think it's just because the controller is specifically built for that environment. Uh, I mean, granted, look, like this is essentially an Xbox controller, right? It looks almost exactly the yeah, same. It's, it's laid like out identical. the same. Yeah. The grips are nice, but what it does have that the other controllers won't have is HD rumble. And like, it seems like a subtle thing, but it, mm. uh, it matters. A I don't even bit. know what that is. It's like it, so um, Switch games can have varying levels of uh, vibration in the controller. And if, oh, you were okay, to, sure. if you were to even buy a third party version of the Pro Controller that looks and feels exactly the same, it's the same form factor, but doesn't have HD rumble, um, you'll get a different experience, like a slightly less experience. Now, are you going to give a shit? Probably not, right? You can buy a, a third party controller for $30, like a Power A controller, I believe, is $30. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask, too, is, okay, yeah. well, then, is it Pro Controller or the one that Sony, or, I mean, Nintendo is still, like, licenses? It's officially licensed, yeah. That's 25. Power, yeah, Power is officially licensed. I think the only difference is that uh, it doesn't have HD Rumble. If you don't give a shit about, like, the official Rumble settings that are coming with the game, and you just want, like, a little bit of, you know, jiggle in your joystick when something's supposed to happen, then buy the Power A because it's going to save you $30. But if you want the authentic experience that's supposed to happen, like when the game is, you know, like there's something erupting off in the distance, for example, you get a low rumble. But then when something's erupting next to you, you get like a very violent rumble. That's the kind of thing that you yeah. miss, yeah. I think, with the non-controller. But like it's a very subtle experience. So if you don't care about that kind of stuff, I think you're more than fine to go with either the adapter or a Power A controller. If you want the authentic experience, then I would go with the Pro. And just like knowing that, this is never going to, you know, be mismapped or or not work exactly correctly. 
This also has 40 hours of charge, which is nice. I mean, I'm just getting used to it. I only got it this week, right? But like yeah. 40 hours of charge and all the other features, and, and it's uh, it's 60 now. It's not 70. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it's uh, you know, it's it's expensive for a controller. For fuck's sake, 60 dollars is absurd. But um, it's uh, it's very nice. It's a nice controller. The grips, there's you know, these these are like nice grippy parts of the controller. Um, so I like it. It's got some nice weight to it, but like. It's not to say that you're never gonna enjoy a thirty-five dollar version of it, right? So yeah, yeah, and and what people say too is like, oh well, the 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 like oh, the sixty dollar one can scam ami scan amiibos or whatever. Oh so I, yeah, I don't give a shit about those. So like yeah. that's out of the that's out of the view for me. You know, like okay, whatever. I'm not gonna spend however much money amiibos are just to get some items ten minutes before I can get it off the bat. You know. Yeah. And exactly. uh, and so I'm not I'm not gonna spend I don't care about a scanning amiibo so that's when I went well then why wouldn't I get the thirty dollar controller I didn't know about you know and usually in games like COD and shit I play with vibration off but when games like like this for example like like with volcanoes or with like something going on in the distance I think it gives that extra feel to have the controller vibrate in your hands like yeah. you know like uh, exactly what you were saying. Yeah, so I mean, I, th I think it's just uh, it comes down to like, do you want the authentic in Nintendo intended experience as far as like the rumble and the control feel and everything goes, or is it fine to have like a little bit of rumble and it doesn't really matter? And I honestly yeah. don't even know. I don't see like I've never tried it without this controller and with like a Power A, but I can't imagine that it makes that much of a difference. So yeah, um, if you're split between the two and thirty bucks matters, like just get the cheaper one. I would think you know. Uh, if you want the authentic experience, it's a very nice controller. I can tell you that. So, that's yeah. That'd probably be my my opinion. Like, if you don't if you don't care that much, I think you can go with the Power A or just the adapter. Um, I'd probably go with the Power A over the adapter, just because it's ten extra bucks and you get a like a Nintendo licensed controller. Yeah, um, that, well, that, that's true. That, that's true. Yeah, the yeah. adapter is probably out of the picture, and then that, it debates between the Pro or the yeah. I think, I think I'd go Power A, and I know that somebody else in the chat. Um, some awesome dude is his name he got a power a and i think he really likes it um and i got the pro uh yeah just this week it's a great controller i think it's a very very well built uh controller but uh i it sounds like by all accounts like the power a is almost exactly the same other than the amiibos and the the hd rumble and you know if you don't give a shit about yeah. that then why spend the 30 dollars right yeah so are there any other accessories that you think are like you know like you need you know like obviously i want my games digital because back when i'd buy my games on disc on the ps4 or ps3 i'd fucking put one disc in a different <laughs> right. case and then i lose the disc and then the disc is gone you know yeah. or my disc gets scratched or somehow damaged you know in i know with the switch cartridges they never like really can get damaged mm -hmm. but you know accidents happen and then what now i gotta drop another 60 dollars compared to just dropping 50 dollars on a 256 gigabyte us us <laughs> or i mean uh sd card right and then just buying all my games digital like so i know the sd card is kind of like a must-have for if i'm going to go digital first off yep and then a controller and then uh screen protector i don't know i, I like i don't have a i have like some stupid screen protector like a liquid glass shit like it's pretty much just a warranty on the screen it's not <laughs> sure and yeah and uh is there anything else? Okay, carrier case too, yeah. So carrier that doesn't case, scratch yeah. it. That'd be the other thing I'd recommend. There's official Nintendo ones that are just like neoprene sleeves, and they're like, I don't know, not well, not sleeves, but they're zip cases, and they're like twenty bucks. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a must have for sure. Because anytime you take it anywhere, you want it in the case, and it also has sleeves, uh, like little slots inside the sleeve for um, for cartridges. If you end up buying cartridges, so uh, those are very useful. Otherwise, no, I, I don't think I have any other um switch accessories i have a, a gamecube adapter for when i wanted to play um uh smash but now that i have the pro controller the pro controller supposedly uh responds better <laughs> so uh no need for that either so i think yeah uh pro controller would be a, a good accessory and then the case either way i think you should get a case for sure uh but that's it huh all right yeah yeah, that, that, that was the thing, too, is like, you know, if you want it, there, there was these videos telling me I got to spend another 200 bucks on accessories. You need a screen protector. You need 
extra joy cons you need extra you know like all this shit and it's like no. i'm not a huge fan of the joy cons in the first place that's why the first thing that went on my mind for getting a switch was i need a controller and whether yeah. i just put my joy cons in that controller thing or i buy a controller but I, I, I probably will get a controller just because obviously i don't want to play only two players locally if i'm going to be with family mm -hmm. and so yeah and man. then yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think extra Joy Cons are a stupid move too, for yeah. in, at least in my situation. I don't. I don't think they're worth eighty. No, they're just... so expensive. Yeah. You don't need them. Yeah. Um, I've never bought another set, and I've never needed them. So I think you're okay there. And if you get a right, controller, well... you end up technically with three controllers, right? Because you can turn a Joy Con yeah. well, sideways yeah. and for most games, right? Yeah. 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 Well, like Switch. I mean, really. I mean, uh, Smash. Like one joy con there's still like 18 different you know moves you can do all with right. one controller all right yeah all right all right yeah i'll let you go to bed since it's like 2 <laughs> 20 where you are it's almost 4 30 where 4 i am 30 yeah quite a late night for you but yeah man um happy to to answer questions about the switch and such but uh yeah dude uh hope you get a so, so christmas right that's the goal yeah but we'll see here because like we were talking about with birthdays i got a birthday coming up so i might just say hey count it as my christmas yeah, gift yeah, 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 you know? go, yeah get it earlier get, right? it, get it in a couple that would be very nice uh well good luck dude let me know how it goes i'll uh hopefully i'll be on tomorrow if not i'll be on uh next thursday this coming thursday that'll be the next time i stream all righty man so, all right have fun on your trip if i don't talk to you tomorrow yeah sounds good man thanks for hanging out so much tonight have a good one yeah, you too, man. Take care, dude.